Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Comprehensive Manga, Saiyan's Beginning in a Dream. Chapter 31 After playing games for a while and taking some time to finish his homework, Chin Chuan went to wash up and then put on his pajamas and lay on the bed. I had a pretty fulfilling day today. I established a very close chatting relationship with Megumi Kato at school, and I made an appointment with Yukinoshita Yukino for a two-day weekend trip. It can only be said that getting along with beautiful girls can still make people feel happy. Megumi Kato and Yukinoshita Yukino are both the type that are pleasing to the eye. If he were a rough guy, it probably wouldn't be fulfilling for Chin Chuan. Chin Chuan closed his eyes, calmed down, kept his breathing steady, and soon gradually fell into sleep, and his sleep was not the end of the day, but the beginning of another world. Dear Cobbles, please choose the mission world you want to enter. 1. Dragon Ball, 2. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The system's world option pops up again, but this time Chin Chuan can enter the Jojo world to explore. In the Dragon Ball world, his spherical spaceship should still be on its way to Zuno. According to the estimated date, he would have to wait another six days to arrive. So in the next six days, he will probably be busy in the Jojo world. It is best to get the, substitute, ability he wants from this world as soon as possible. The method of obtaining a substitute is simple, just be stabbed by those arrows that can activate the substitute, but how to get an arrow is still more troublesome. Because those special arrows are basically monopolized by a few people at first, the specific arrow to be obtained depends on the situation. Enter the world of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. This time there was no prompt such as insufficient entries. Chin Chuan felt his body falling in the void, and finally his eyes lit up and he appeared in the world. However, as his eyes lit up, a wave of heat suddenly hit his face, causing sweat to form on Chin Chuan's forehead. This is, a desert. Could it be that I was sent directly to Egypt? Chin Chuan quickly looked around and realized that he was surrounded by yellow sand, like a desert scene. No wonder it made him feel so hot. If you look carefully, you can see that there is a town in the distance, which can be reached by just walking for a while, which is good, as Chin Chuan was not thrown directly into the middle of the desert. He remembered that the ending point of the third part of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure was Egypt. Maybe he was lucky. Now is the timeline of the third part. Before heading to the town in the desert, Chin Chuan first moved his body on the spot and confirmed his current physical condition. Just like when he entered the Dragon Ball world, his appearance and body had almost no changes. Powerful power filled his body, and the 40 points of combat power followed him into this world. I see. Every time I enter a new world, will my abilities in the real world be synchronized? Chin Chuan also understood the synchronization of these powers, his 40 points of combat power in the real world were brought into the Jojo world. Doesn't that mean that the power he took away from the Jojo world simultaneously could also be brought into Dragon Ball next time? In the world. At first, Chin Chuan thought that the people in the Dragon Ball world were disadvantageous in their souls and spirits, but now it seems that it is an advantage. Originally, if he wanted to defeat Frieza, Chin Chuan basically had no choice but to work hard to improve his combat effectiveness, but now, maybe he can also consider mental and soul attacks. Of course, this presupposes that Chin Chuan can develop mental and soul attack methods, although, substitutes, are the embodiment of mental power, their attack methods are not necessarily aimed at the spirit and soul. Comma. Hey, little brother, I'm traveling alone and traveling lightly. Do you need a tour guide? As soon as he entered the town, Chin Chuan was pestered by a local strong man. Probably because Chin Chuan wasn't very stout, and he didn't have any luggage with him, and he didn't have any companions with him, he pestered him directly. Logically speaking, Chin Chuan could not understand what the Egyptians said, but this was the world of animation after all, so Chin Chuan naturally understood what the strong local man said. I do not need it, thank you. Chin Chuan just waved his hand and had no intention of getting entangled with this strong man. He came here not for tourism, but for Dior, First he had to find out where this town was located, what year and time it was now. Although they are all in Egypt, his main mission target, Dio should be located in Cairo, Egypt. If this was not Cairo, he would naturally not be wasting time here. Hey, little brother, if you travel to Egypt alone without a tour guide, you will be entangled by street gangsters. However, 
Chin Chuan had just taken two steps when he felt the strong man put his hand on his shoulder. Although if Chin Chuan continued walking, it would be impossible for the strong man to hold him down with his strength, but he still stopped and looked at the strong man. The strong man who had been smiling just now had a fierce look in his eyes. Behind him, there were several men staring at Chin Chuan with strange smiles on their faces. By this time it was obvious that this strong man was not a serious tour guide at all, but a gangster who came to blackmail tourists. However, after understanding this, Chin Chuan's eyes lit up. The reason is simple. After he obtained 40 points of combat power from Dragon Ball, he never found any chance to take action. Because he follows the principles of living an ordinary life in the real world, he will not be the target of bullying. In addition, he has not seen many gangsters, so that his fist has been itchy for two days. In fact, when it comes to finding a martial arts school, I also want to vent my excess energy. But now, in the Jojo world, a gangster finally comes to your door. Chin Chuan's eyes instantly became enthusiastic when he looked at these men. He smiled and pulled the strong man's hand down, and then showed a bright smile. Okay, then let's find a quiet corner to talk about the tour guide fee. A, ah, okay. The strong man didn't expect that his hand would be forcibly removed so easily, but after hearing Chin Chuan's words, his greed for money made him temporarily ignore this small detail. This was not the first time he had done something like this. Although Chin Chuan's expression seemed a little off, what he said was no different from those timid foreign tourists. So without thinking much, he and several other accomplices took Chin Chuan and walked towards a nearby alley. Kicked the local strong man in the stomach, sending the strong man flying out, hitting the wall, and then slowly fell down. Ah, the strong man curled up on the ground knelt on the ground, holding his stomach, and spat out, even if Chin Chuan had withdrawn his strength, the force was not something that ordinary people could bear. It's so disgusting. Don't splash your vomit on me. If there's something disgusting on my shoes, just wait and lick the floor clean. Chin Chuan looked at this strong man with eyes that were almost bulging with disgust, then turned to look at his accomplices who had completely fainted next to him, and shook his feet. After all, they are just ordinary people. Chin Chuan still has questions to ask these people, so of course it is impossible to kill them directly. Although Chin Chuan had already killed Elik and had no psychological discomfort with killing people, he still had to learn to control his power. These strong men just allowed him to figure out how much force he could use to cause serious pain to ordinary people without killing them. In this way, if he encounters a similar situation in the real world, he will know the scope of his contribution. I, I know I was wrong. Please forgive me. I will never do such a thing again. Shocked by Chin Chuan's words, the strong local man who had been fierce before ignored the severe pain in his abdomen and kowtowed on the ground to apologize. As if he was afraid that if he was a second too late, Chin Chuan's next kick would be on his head. On the wall next to the strong man, a footprint was clearly visible, it was kicked by Chin Chuan just now. Of course, this strong man would not think that his head was harder than the stone wall. In fact, if Chin Chuan had not used any strength, the wall would have been kicked down, just like Bobbit in Dragon Ball smashed the wall down with one elbow. What, who do you think Bobbit is? That was Little Wukong's secondary role in the 22nd world number. One martial arts tournament, Chin Chuan's combat effectiveness was still stronger than him at this time. Hand over all the money you have. Chin Chuan did not comment, but just ordered the strong man to take out all the money he had on him, just as he entered this world, he did not have Egyptian currency on him. If this is not Cairo, then the money these guys paid can be used as travel expenses. When the local strong man heard Chin Chuan's words, he naturally nodded quickly, then hurriedly ran over and plundered all the money from his companions. Naturally, he didn't dare to run away. He also knew Chin Chuan's speed. In just a blink of an eye, he rushed directly in front of him and kicked him. There was no way he could outrun Chin Chuan. It's all. Dot all here. After the strong man plundered the money from his accomplices, he took out his wallet and handed it to Chin Chuan, hoping that Chin Chuan would let them go after taking the money. Chin Chuan took the money from this guy, put it in his pocket, and then continued to ask. What year is it now? What day is it? How far is it from Cairo? Normally, these questions from Chin Chuan are obviously very strange. 
Even if someone really doesn't remember the day and doesn't know what month and day it is, he shouldn't even know what year it is. Even if he was released from prison after many years, he would not be at this level. However, the local strong man naturally did not dare to talk at this time, and the severe abdominal pain made him suspect that his internal organs had been seriously injured. Now he just wanted to send Chin Chuan away and go to the hospital. It's 1987, it's December. December 26, because Christmas had just passed, so although the strong man's mind was confused due to pain, he still remembered today's specific date after thinking about it for a while. December 16, 1987, very good. Chin Chuan nodded when he heard this. Although he didn't remember the specific time of the third part of Jojo, he still remembered that Dio's death was in January. In other words, now he not only just caught up with the plot point of the third part of Jojo, but also caught up with one month before Dio was killed. Because the main mission requires Chin Chuan to kill Dio, of course Chin Chuan cannot wait for the protagonist group to kill Dio. He must take action before the protagonist group. Although it is not impossible to consider joining forces with the protagonist group to finally take Dio's head, but, that would take too long to wait. What's more, at this point in time, the, arrows, that can be used to awaken the substitute should be in the hands of Dio and his group. Without a substitute, it is not easy to deal with Dio. Although his combat power at this time has far exceeded the limit of ordinary people, after all, Dio's stand-in, world, has the ability to stop time. Once time is stopped, it will be difficult to deal with it no matter how strong your fighting power is. If Chin Chuan's combat power was more than 100, he might have the confidence to smash Dio's head before he stopped time. But it is a pity that Chin Chuan's combat power is only about 40. It is okay to smash the wall with one punch, but it should not be possible for Dio to even have a chance to stop time. What's more, he had to find a way to get close to Dio, otherwise, let alone smashing his head, he would probably be punched by the world from a distance. The destructive power of Dior's stand, world, is A, which is the strongest level among the stands, second only to a very small number of non-standard stands including, Platinum Star. It can also smash walls with one punch, matter. In other words, Chin Chuan's current combat effectiveness may not have much strength advantage when facing Dio's substitute. You still have to get a, substitute, first. After thinking about it for a while, Chin Chuan felt that if he wanted to kill Dio, a substitute was still the most needed thing at this stage, as long as his substitute ability was not too stretched, and combined with his own strong combat power, he would be able to beat Dio to his knees. Forget it later, I haven't finished yet, how far is it from Cairo? Although he was thinking a lot in his mind, only a moment passed outside. Chin Chuan kicked the strong local man in the body and continued to ask questions. This, this is Cairo, it's just the most fringe area of Cairo. The strong man did not dare to hide anything and answered quickly, fearing that he would be beaten by Chin Chuan if he answered slowly. If you want to go downtown, you just take a bus. Yeah, I understand, you can get out. Chin Chuan looked at the embarrassed strong man, nodded, and finally let him go. In other words, it is not very far from Dior's mansion, which means that the arrow is not far away. In the work, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, there are six inches arrows that clearly exist. They were dug out by Diavolo. Later, this guy sold the five arrows to a man named Enya at a high price, old woman. And this Enya is Dio's subordinate. In the original work, Yoshihiro Kira, who traveled to Egypt, once spent money to buy an arrow from Enya, thinking it was just an ordinary handicraft. In other words, Enya is probably in the ancient goods market in Cairo now. Chin Chuan thought, walked out of the alley, and followed the instructions to find the bus to downtown Cairo. He got on it, thinking about what to do next. First go to the market in downtown Cairo and look for it. If you can find Enya, see if you can buy an arrow before Kira Yoshihiro. If you can buy it directly, things will be much easier. Taking a bus, Chin Chuan arrived in Cairo's urban area and successfully found the largest market here. Egypt in the 1980s almost fulfilled many stereotypes about Egypt, such as Egyptians wearing traditional clothes, rough stone buildings, and messy markets filled with ancient goods. Chin Chuan even saw someone selling several skulls at a stall, and he didn't know which pyramid they were dug from. 
If this was the set of Yu-Gi-Oh, Chin Chuan might have to try hard to find any Egyptians who carry the Millennium Key. He might even be able to trick someone into obtaining a Millennium Artifact. But this is the Jojo Studio, and it is impossible to have a thousand-year-old artifact. His target is an old woman with two right hands. This market is quite large, so Chin Chuan is not in a hurry and slowly wanders around the market, observing each stall owner carefully. According to the progress of the original work, Enya will take the initiative to attack after the protagonist and his party kill seven enemies and directly run to Pakistan to ambush the protagonist group. But judging from the date obtained from the strong man's mouth before, the protagonist and his party in the third part have not yet reached this progress, so Enya should still be in Cairo and has not left. Enya, the old woman. Not only did he hold the five arrows he bought from Diavolo in his hands, but he was also Dio's confidant, providing Dio with funds and accommodation, and helping him create substitute messengers for Dio. Maybe part of the funds she provided for Dior came from selling arrows. Otherwise, it would be unexplainable why she would sell arrows to Yoshihiro Kira as handicrafts. If Enya can be found, it will be of great help to Chin Chuan's main mission. Maybe today, he can advance more than half of the main mission's requirements. Probably because this was already downtown Cairo, Chin Chuan wandered around the market for a while, but he didn't encounter the same kind of gangsters who came to blackmail him before. Although it is still common for vendors to rip off people, Chin Chuan doesn't plan to buy anything else here anyway, so he naturally doesn't care. And Chin Chuan's hard search was not in vain. After spending more than an hour wandering around, Chin Chuan finally found an inconspicuous shop in a corner of the market. This shop looks quite old. There are some handicrafts of different shapes on the shop. The owner standing behind the shop is an old woman with pale hair, short stature and wrinkles on her face. More importantly, her hands are facing exactly the same way, with two right hands. Haha, <laughs> is there anything you like about this guest? Enya also noticed Chin Chuan's gaze. She let out a breathtaking laugh and invited Chin Chuan to come to her shop. Chin Chuan narrowed his eyes and did not walk over immediately. Instead, he first used his ability to sense, Chi, to carefully sense the situation of the people around Enya's shop. Enya is also a stand-in user. Her stand-in user, Justice, is a stand-in made of mist. It can inject mist into the human body through wounds, thereby controlling the corpse to act. In the original work, Enya brutally killed an entire town's residents in a small town in Pakistan, manipulated the corpses of all the residents and disguised them as living people. It was quite cruel. However, under the sense of, Chi, Chin Chuan realized that the people around Enya's shop were normal living people, not corpses. It seemed that they had not been poisoned by Enya. After making sure that these people were not controlled by Enya, Chin Chuan walked up and pretended to look at the things on Enya's shop, but in fact he was looking for arrows. Most of the things displayed in Enya's shop are various kinds of handicrafts. Compared with the things in other shops, these handicrafts are at least a lot more beautiful. It's no wonder that when Kira Yoshihiro bought the arrow from Enya, he thought it was just an ordinary craft at first, after all, the arrow should have been placed with these crafts. However, after rummaging around for a while, Chin Chuan's heart gradually sank. Because he found that although these handicrafts had all kinds of items, they only lacked arrows. Considering that the day for Enya to leave Cairo and go to Pakistan is not far away, maybe the arrows that Enya is going to take out have already been bought by Yoshihiro Kira. In fact, in Chin Chuan's heart, Kira Yoshihiro's arrow should be the best to get. Because the arrow Yoshihiro Kira only thought it was a handicraft at first. It was not until he accidentally pierced him and his son Yoshihiro Kira that the arrow was special. And that was what happened later. At least for a short period of time, Kira Yoshihiro was just an ordinary person who took an arrow but didn't know its function. If Chin Chuan is willing, he can even find a way to go to Morio Town in Japan now, guard at Kira's house, and then use his fighting power to directly snatch the arrow from Kira Yoshihiro, who is still an ordinary person. But the problem is that he doesn't know when Kira Yoshihiro left Egypt and returned to Japan. What if Kira Yoshihiro returns to Japan very late and Dio has been killed by the protagonist group, then even if he grabs Kira Yoshihiro's arrow, what's the point? Even if the avatar is awakened, 
the synchronization rate is always fixed at 0% because it cannot complete the main mission of killing Dio, and cannot be synchronized back to the real world. Although he was thinking about this, Chin Chuan's expression remained normal, in order to prevent Enya from seeing any flaws. Boss, are these all the handicrafts? Is there anything else? Oh, it seems that this guest is very picky. Enya did not doubt that Chin Chuan was eyeing the arrow. After all, she saw many tourists from Asia like Chin Chuan in this market every day. Compared with those guests, Chin Chuan acted alone, which was more special at best. If the customer is interested, I also have a special handicraft here, but this thing contains a very special meaning and the price may be high. Probably thinking that Chin Chuan might be able to pay the high price, Enya chuckled, slowly squatted down, took out another long box from under the shop, and slowly put it up. Seeing this long box, Chin Chuan's heart skipped a beat, feeling that what he was looking for might be about to appear. That's this arrow, this thing is quite expensive, but I already have a few in my hand, so I'm going to sell one to get some funds. Enya slowly opened the long box, and sure enough, lying inside was an arrowhead made of meteorite, with a wooden arrow handle that was obviously installed from behind embedded underneath. Although it is not an extremely special, insect arrow, this arrow is undoubtedly the arrow that can make people awaken their substitutes. Chin Chuan's heart beat violently, and he thought to himself that it was a good thing that he asked more and didn't leave directly. It seems that Yoshihiro Kira has not bought this arrow yet. In the original work, he is likely to be like Chin Chuan. He only asked Enya to take out the arrow after asking this question. Oh, this arrow is good, how much does it cost? Chin Chuan pretended that it was the first time he knew this arrow. He reached out and took the arrow out of the box without any courtesy and put it in his hand to play with. By the way, I would like to ask about the price of this arrow. Although Chin Chuan knew that the price of this arrow would definitely not be cheap, in order to recoup the cost and make money, Enya would definitely ask for a price several times higher than the purchase price. At least Chin Chuan only had the money he robbed from those gangsters in his pocket. He even spent a little money on taking the bus, which was impossible to get even if he thought about it. The price of this arrow is not cheap at all, because it cost me a lot of money when I purchased it. Enya smiled as she watched Chin Chuan pick up the arrow, but she had no intention of stopping it. She just said the usual lines used by merchants to raise prices. In fact, what Enya said was not a lie. He did spend a lot of money to purchase five arrows from Diavolo. Exactly how much money is there? Let's put it this way, Diavolo established an organization called Passion, with the startup capital he received from Enya, and directly developed it into a large organization capable of controlling the political world, business world, and the underworld. Although such a huge development is related to Diavolo's methods, huge startup funds are also essential to develop the organization. Chin Chuan was already prepared to be shouted out for astronomical numbers. Moreover, what worries Chin Chuan even more is that Enya doesn't care at all about taking the arrow in her hand and playing with it. You know, Enya is a short old woman. If she were an ordinary old woman, if Chin Chuan ran away with the arrow, there would be no way Enya could catch up. But Enya didn't care at all about Chin Chuan's movements with the arrow. In other words, Enya was absolutely sure to catch Chin Chuan before he escaped. Substitute. Enya's mist like substitute. Justice is her strength. Chin Chuan knew very well where Enya's confidence lay. To be honest, Chin Chuan didn't have much to do with Enya's substitute at the moment. Although Chin Chuan's combat power of 40 is strong enough for ordinary people, and can even crush most avatars in terms of strength and speed, the missed avatar, Justice, happens to be immune to physical damage. If Chin Chuan's combat effectiveness was higher and he was hit with high-intensity Qigong waves, any mist-like avatar would evaporate together with the mist. But Chin Chuan can't do it now. 40 points of combat power is not enough for him to hit that kind of high-intensity Qigong wave, if he learns the turtle-style Qigong, he might be able to give it a try. It is also a Qigong wave. Turtle-style Qigong can be said to be one of the types of Qigong waves with the greatest increase in power. Unfortunately, Chin Chuan cannot learn it for the time being. Why add one? Because there is another Qigong wave that increases even more, and can even be life-threatening, called Qigong Cannon. As for teleportation, 
teleportation with a synchronization rate of only 1% is not enough for Qin Chuan to directly move out of this market. Judging from the original work, Enya's stand in, Justice, is enough to cover the entire town. It is still difficult for Qin Chuan to directly escape from the range of Enya's stand in ability. As long as this amount, I will sell this arrow to you. Sure enough, under Qin Chuan's gaze, Enya slowly spoke out a very exaggerated number, which made Qin Chuan's eyelids jump. As for how big it is, I won't say much about the specific amount. Anyway, it is a price that ordinary people cannot afford. After hearing this number, Qin Chuan was also frightened. He couldn't help but think of that little old man Yoshihiro Kira. How could the Kira family spend so much money to buy a handicraft without saying a word? However, if you think carefully about Kira Yoshikage's self-introduction in the original work, he seems to have said that his ancestors were once a samurai family. It seems that their ancestors were wealthy and left a considerable amount of property to their family. But spending so much money to buy a handicraft is too nonsense, right? It's impossible that Enya fell in love with that little old man Yoshihiro Kira and shouted to him that the price was much lower than Chin Chuan's. It's too expensive. I don't have that much cash with me. Chin Chuan calmly put the arrow in his hand back into the box, then pretended to be very interested in the arrow and said to Enya. But I am really interested in this handicraft. Can you keep it for me? I will get the money and give it to you tomorrow at the latest. In this way, the main reason is that I am worried that Kira Yoshihiro will come to find him like the original work, and then also become interested in this arrow. After all, this arrow was bought by Kira Yoshihiro in the original work. So he hoped Enya could keep the arrow and not sell it to anyone else. Hehe, he, I can see that you really like this arrow. No problem, I will keep it for you. I will not sell it to anyone else before this time tomorrow. The interest in Chin Chuan's eyes was not fake, Enya could also see this, so she did not suspect Chin Chuan had any other purpose, she just pretended to smile kindly and nodded in agreement. If you are uninformed, you may really think that this is just a kind old lady, but Chin Chuan knows very well that this guy kills people without even batting an eyelid. Like I said, this arrow has a very special power. It will select a specific person. I can feel that not only you are very fond of this arrow, but this arrow is also very fond of you. Enya looked at Chin Chuan who put the arrow back into the box, with a dull smile in his voice, and spoke like a magic stick. If you haven't collected enough money by tomorrow, you can also come to me. Maybe there are other ways for you to pay instead. It is true that, arrows, choose people, especially since this arrow is likely to be the arrow of Kira Yoshihiro in the fourth part. In the fourth part, this arrow will actively select people with potential, and can even help people who already have stand-ins awaken new abilities when needed. The final boss of the fourth part, Kira Yoshikage, once used this arrow to awaken his stand in new additional abilities. Although the arrow was now lying in the box and not pointing at herself, Enya still seemed to see something and showed a charming smile to Chin Chuan. Chin Chuan knew very well that the other method she mentioned was probably to make herself swear allegiance to Dio and help Dio deal with the protagonists of the third part. If he could get this arrow just by pretending to be loyal, then Chin Chuan actually didn't care. As long as he could get this arrow, pretending to be loyal to Dio would not lose any meat. But the problem is that Dior has a way to control his men. As a vampire, Dio can make special granules from his own flesh and blood. By implanting granulation into the body of his subordinates, not only can he control his thoughts and actions, but after Dio's death, these granulations will also transform him into an undead monster with low IQ. If Chin Chuan chooses to pretend to be loyal to Dior, he will most likely be asked to implant Dior's flesh sprouts, this is something he cannot accept. It would be better to be controlled by Babidi, at least the one who can really resist with his own willpower. So the best way is to get a large amount of property in the next time and buy the arrow directly from Enya. As for whether Enya will regret it, at least judging from the fact that Kira Yoshihiro in the fourth part actually holds the arrow, Enya is indeed going to sell the arrow, so Chin Chuan is not worried about this. Well, if we could synchronize more combat power from the Dragon Ball world, there would be no need to go to such trouble. After leaving the market, Chin Chuan also sighed, it was because of his lack of strength that he needed such intrigues. After leaving the market, 
Chin Chuan first moved as far away from Enya's location as possible to ensure that he would not be seen by Enya's stand-in, and then began to raise funds. Speaking of raising funds, Chin Chuan actually did the same thing as many male protagonists who have just gained strong combat power, first take advantage of the evil and then take advantage of it. This, this is all my money. In the dark alley, the weirdly dressed gangster knelt on the ground, tremblingly took out all his belongings and handed them to Chin Chuan. Judging from the bruises on his body, it was obvious that he had been treated inhumanely before this. Chin Chuan collected the money smoothly, but did not let the gangster go directly. Instead, he asked the question he had asked several gangsters before. Is there any place around here where I can make money quickly? Where the money comes in faster? I don't know. The little gangster was stunned for a moment, and then shook his head ignorantly, if he knew there was a place where he could make money quickly, would he still need to be a gangster? I mean, is there any place to make quick money like boxing? You are a little gangster after all, you should know something, right? Chin Chuan frowned and asked in further detail, he was quite short of money now, and the funds these gangsters could provide were really insignificant. There is really no such thing, or maybe there is, but I don't know. The little gangster was about to cry. Although Chin Chuan didn't look very tall, the scene where he kicked through the stone wall just now left a big psychological shadow on him. He was now afraid that Chin Chuan would be dissatisfied with him and leave a hole in his body with his kick. What about your Cairo underworld? You should know how to find them, right? Chin Chuan had already heard this answer from several other gangsters, so Chin Chuan was not discouraged and asked again. There is no doubt that black boxing is a way to quickly raise funds, but if you can't find a place to do black boxing, you can just look for those rich gangsters. I don't know either. Waste. Chin Chuan laughed angrily at these ignorant gangsters and kicked him on the head. He immediately rolled his eyes and fell to the ground unconscious. Chin Chuan is very melancholy now. This is not a decadent and beautiful country. Before Spider-Man mutated, he was still a nerdy student. After mutating, he immediately knew where there was an underground boxing ring to make money. Why can't it work here? I thought that these gangsters might be able to provide me with some information about the Egyptian underworld, and it would be no problem to knock on the door and rob the Egyptian underworld of their money. But these gangsters are basically just ordinary people with bad personalities, and have nothing to do with the real underworld. It took more than an hour to finally find a few gangsters, but they ended up getting a little bit of oil and water, which was far from the money needed to buy the arrow. If you continue to use this method, even if you spend all 8 hours on this this time, you will not be able to earn 1% of the required funds, and you will have to find another way. In fact, Chin Chuan also thought of two other options. The first one is to go to the center of Cairo to find some rich people to do something with. Although Chin Chuan doesn't want to do anything too outrageous, he still thinks there is no problem in robbing a capitalist. After all, those capitalists were fat and rich, so if they were robbed, it wouldn't hurt them, after all, even the Kira family could pay for the arrow. But the problem is that Dior's residence is also in the center of Cairo, where many of Dior's subordinates gather. Once you show too much prominence, you may be noticed by Dior and his subordinates in advance. If it were just an ordinary stand-in user, Chin Chuan would not be afraid, but Dio also had a special space-based stand-in, so Chin Chuan still had to be on guard against it. He didn't want to end up like 2.5 Satoru. The second plan is to contact Joseph Joestar, one of the protagonists of the third part and the protagonist of the second Jojo part. At this point in time, Joseph Joestar already has considerable wealth in the United States, and will become a famous real estate tycoon in the future, with the full support of the SPW consortium behind him. As long as he explained the situation clearly to him, he would definitely send money over without hesitation and fully support Chin Chuan in buying the arrow from Dio. The problem with this plan is, Chin Chuan doesn't know how to contact Joseph Joestar. It's 1987 now. In this era, unlike modern society, everyone has a smartphone. Most people still use landlines or public phones to communicate. Mobile phones in this era are actually quite famous, because they have a very famous nickname called Big Brother. Of course, Chin Chuan did not doubt that Joseph Joestar, a wealthy businessman, had a big brother, but even if it was a big brother, he still had to know the contact number. 
At the worst, it would be okay if we could contact the relatives of the protagonist group. Unfortunately, Chin Chuan couldn't do it either, and their contact information was not mentioned in the original work. If neither of these two options works, Chin Chuan actually has a last resort option. That is, he failed to collect the money in the end, and on the pretext of taking a last look at this handicraft, while playing with the arrow, he accidentally cut his finger with the arrow. After all, that arrow is a genuine sharp weapon. It is normal to accidentally cut your finger while playing with it, right? The protagonist Shu Lun Kujo in the sixth part of JOJO was cut on his finger by a fragment of an arrow and then awakened his substitute. It can be seen that if you want to awaken your substitute, you don't need this arrow to cause a big wound. But this is the lowest option. If possible, Chin Chuan still hopes to hold the arrow in his own hand instead of putting it with Enya. Moreover, when her finger was cut by an arrow in front of Enya, Enya would definitely realize that she might become a substitute messenger, and Enya would never let her leave when the time came. More importantly, Enya's stand in justice can inject its own fog into people's wounds, thereby controlling other people's actions internally. If his finger was cut by an arrow in front of Enya, the wound on his finger might become the entrance to Enya's control. This is why Chen Chuan didn't choose this plan directly when he was playing with the arrow in front of Enya just now. If he had any other choice, he didn't want to take the risk. The main problem is that Chin Chuan does not have much time to stay in this world, only 8 hours a day, so he can only give up many methods that require a long time to operate. If there were no time constraints, Chin Chuan would have many ways to make money with his fighting ability. Why be so urgent? It would be fine to spend some time to become a world boxing champion or follow Mr. Satan's old path. It has been more than two hours since he entered the Jojo world. Chin Chuan was squatting on the side of the street in downtown Cairo, watching the pedestrians coming and going on the street. As a big city in Egypt, the center of Cairo already has the feel of a modern city, at least much better than the market and the towns on the edge. Here, Chin Chuan also saw many guys who were obviously wealthy people, well-dressed and riding in cars passing by on the street, which made Chin Chuan want to take action directly. If you get some money from these guys, you should be able to go directly to Enya and buy the arrows. However, Chin Chuan still suppressed this idea for the time being. This place must be not far from Dior's mansion. Taking action rashly may attract the attention of Dior's men. While Chin Chuan was waiting on the street, many girls and ladies from Cairo tried to talk to Chin Chuan. After all, Chin Chuan's appearance is still very handsome. Although you can occasionally see Asian tourists in Cairo, there are still relatively few handsome Asians. These women obviously want to enjoy the exotic atmosphere. Some people even said that they could provide Chin Chu with a lot of money, which made Chin Chuan feel that there were so many rich people in the city center. However, Chin Chuan still rejected the invitations of these women. No matter how high the price they offered, Chin Chuan was not tempted. On the one hand, these women wear heavy makeup, which is not in line with Chin Chuan's aesthetics. On the other hand, he was worried that he was too strong and accidentally used up the remaining six hours in this world. Ahem, it doesn't mean anything else. But watching here all the time is not an option. If you want to find a way to follow a rich man, let's do it where no one notices. After observing the streets in downtown Cairo for a while, Chin Chuan gradually figured out the travel methods and routes of these wealthy people. Of course he is not wasting time sitting here doing nothing. To use a more popular term, he should be stepping on the spot. Through more than half an hour of observation, he determined that most of the wealthy people in Cairo travel by private cars, and there are also dedicated drivers responsible for driving. Under normal circumstances, it is unlikely that Chin Chuan would take these rich people to a deserted place. After all, these cars are driving on the streets and cannot get into the alleys. But Chin Chuan noticed that there was a clothing store across the street, which seemed to have customized services for wealthy people. In the past half hour or so, several private cars had stopped in front of the store. The rich man inside walked into the store with his stomach full of oil and water, and then walked out not long after, got in a car and left. This gave Chin Chuan an opportunity. He could take advantage of the car parked at the door, get in the car and knock the driver unconscious, and then wait for the rich man inside to get back to the car before driving to a deserted place. 
Those rich people all sit in the back row. As long as Chin Chuan is a little more careful, they won't even notice that the driver in the driver's seat has changed. And when Chin Chuan drives the car to a relatively remote place, he won't have to worry about being noticed by Dior's men. Then he can easily get a sum of money from these big dogs. What, do you think Chin Chuan can drive? This is not a problem. Chin Chuan had a driver's license before traveling to the world of Zong Man. Although he hasn't touched a car for two and a half years since traveling, his muscle memory is probably still there. I guess so. Anyway, even if there is a car accident in the end, Chin Chuan can ensure his own safety. As long as he covers his body with, chi, it will be no big deal even if he is hit by a heavy truck. Having already decided in his heart that he would attack the wealthy man, Chin Chuan stood up, leaned against the street lamp, and stared at the clothing store opposite, waiting for the next unlucky rich man to arrive. But about ten minutes later, a taxi stopped at the door of the clothing store, this surprised Chin Chuan, but he didn't pay much attention. Although this clothing store obviously has customized services for wealthy people, it also obviously has a place for ordinary people to consume, so occasionally some ordinary people will come in and out of the store. But Chin Chuan's goal is not these ordinary people. Firstly, it is to squeeze out the money of these ordinary people. Chin Chuan still has a little conscience. Secondly, most of the money of these ordinary people cannot meet his needs. After all, it is impossible for these ordinary people to carry all their property with them. Therefore, Chin Chuan had no intention of taking action against the passengers in the taxi. In his opinion, these passengers were probably just ordinary residents. However, after Chin Chuan saw the people who got out of the taxi clearly, Chin Chuan's eyes suddenly widened. Because the person who got off the car had gray hair and a thin body. He looked very young and Chin Chuan knew this person, or had information about this person. Yoshihiro Kira, the arrow in Enya's hand, without Chin Chuan's interference, would have been sold to this guy in the end, and taken back to Japan's Morio town to cause trouble in the plot of the fourth part. Indeed, it is not long before Enya leaves Cairo and heads to Pakistan. If Yoshihiro Kira wants to buy arrows from Enya, it means that he is already in Cairo now. Chin Chuan's heart started to beat. If robbing a wealthy businessman he was unfamiliar with might be risky, then he didn't need to worry about robbing Yoshihiro Kira. Because those rich people may have bodyguards or guns around them. Although they do not pose a threat to Chin Chuan, the sound of shooting may attract the attention of others. But Yoshihiro Kira was different. He was Japanese and just a tourist. He couldn't have a gun on him. Chin Chuan didn't need to worry about attracting anyone's attention when dealing with him. More importantly, since Kira Yoshihiro can buy arrows from Enya, it means that he has enough money. Very good, it really took no effort at all. Chin Chuan watched Kira Yoshihiro enter the clothing store, and also walked towards the clothing store. Do you feel guilty for robbing Yoshihiro Kira? Don't be kidding, this guy has done a lot of outrageous things to protect his murderer son. I robbed him and cut off the possibility of him buying the arrow, which actually benefited society. After all, his son Yoshikage Kira will rely on the stand in ability awakened by Arrow in the future to destroy corpses and eliminate traces, leaving the police unable to catch this serial killer. And without the Arrow, Kira Yoshikage might be caught in advance, which would be a great merit for him. Entering the clothing store, Chin Chuan looked around the store and immediately saw Yoshihiro Kira, who was selecting clothes next to the shelves. Kira Yoshihiro's appearance is slightly younger than that in the original work, but he still shows his age. He is wearing a somewhat old formal suit and looks ordinary. It is hard to imagine that such a tourist, who looks ordinary at first glance, actually carries a fortune that would be a huge sum for an average family. Chin Chuan looked at the clerks in the clothing store. They didn't seem to want to talk to Kira Yoshihiro. After all, Kira Yoshihiro didn't seem to be a rich man. This also facilitates Chin Chuan's movements. If all these clerks are gathered around Kira Yoshihiro, it will be inconvenient for Chin Chuan to approach him. Slowly walking behind Yoshihiro Kira, Chin Chuan took out a gun from his pocket, yes, this gun was seized from a gangster. In the 1980s, the gap between rich and poor was very large in many countries. This situation brought about social chaos. For people living in dark areas, the circulation of firearms became commonplace. 
The same is true for Egypt. When he was dealing with a gangster, he took out this gun and tried to threaten Chin Chuan, but the bullet he fired was accurately caught by Chin Chuan, scaring him to death. Then this gun naturally fell into Chin Chuan's hands. Although it did not help improve his combat effectiveness, he felt that this thing would come in handy at some point. For example, now, Mr. Kira, please don't make any noise and be quiet. Putting the muzzle of the pistol against Kira Yoshihiro's back, Chin Chuan approached him and spoke threatening words in a low voice. You don't want your spine to be shattered by a shot, do you? That's right, the use of this pistol now is to threaten Kira Yoshihiro in a very intuitive way. If he were not in a clothing store, Chin Chuan could of course directly show his force to threaten, such as stamping a hole on the cement floor, which would definitely deter Yoshihiro Kira. But now he is in a clothing store. If Chin Chuan does this, the clerk in the clothing store will definitely call the police immediately. When the police are dispatched, it will inevitably attract the attention of Dior forces. Therefore, in comparison, using a pistol to make a silent threat is the best choice, an ordinary person like Yoshihiro Kira naturally knows how powerful a pistol is. Varied, Kira Yoshihiro was startled, and then felt a cold thing pressing against his back. Although as an ordinary Japanese citizen, Yoshihiro Kira has never touched a real gun, he certainly knows the characteristics of the pistol from TV magazines and other media. That cold tubular object was indeed probably the barrel of a pistol, although it was possible that someone had used something like a water pipe to fake it, but he didn't dare to bet on whether the other person was using a fake at this time. Um, probably because the movements between Chin Chuan and Kira Yoshihiro were a bit weird, a clothing store clerk turned his head and looked over. We are acquaintances, we are just saying hello, please don't pay attention. Chin Chuan told lies without changing his expression, as if he had never threatened Kira Yoshihiro at all. Obviously, the clerk in the clothing store believed this statement, because Yoshihiro Kira and Chin Chuan both have Asian faces, the clerk naturally felt that there was a high possibility that they were acquaintances. A fellow countryman meets a fellow countryman, maybe Kira Yoshihiro's awkward expression is just because he is too excited. If Yoshihiro Kira knew what this clerk was thinking, he would have cursed him long ago. Okay, please come out with me, Mr. Kira. After dismissing the clerk, Chin Chuan pointed to the door of the store and asked Yoshihiro Kira to follow him out of the clothing store, preparing to take him to a remote place for processing. Our posture, after we go out, some people will notice that you are threatening me. Kira Yoshihiro swallowed. He was not a very courageous person, so his voice was trembling when he spoke. He was probably afraid that he would be in trouble if he was taken away, so he tried to persuade Chin Chuan to get out of the way. And what he said is true. Now in the clothing store, Chin Chuan's posture standing behind Kira Yoshikage is already very strange. If he leaves the clothing store, this strange posture will definitely attract others' attention. One person walking down the street closely behind another person is quite performance art. Even without Kira Yoshihiro asking for help, curious police officers would probably come over to check the situation, and then found Chin Chuan threatening Kira Yoshihiro with a pistol on his back. That's right, then Mr. Kira, please take a look. Chin Chuan felt the same. If he kept driving Kira Yoshihiro behind him, he would definitely attract the attention of the police on the street. So Chin Chuan retracted the hand holding the pistol, and then put his arm around Kira Yoshihiro's shoulders, arming each other around like good brothers. After hooking Kira Yoshihiro's neck with his left hand, Chin Chuan showed his right hand to Kira Yoshihiro, what he held in his right hand was a genuine pistol. Just when Kira Yoshihiro was thinking about what Chin Chuan wanted to do by showing him the pistol, Chin Chuan gently shook his right hand. Snap! The hard black metal instantly twisted into a ball and the bullets inside fell to the ground with a clatter, making Yoshihiro Kira break out in cold sweat. Understood, if I want, I can twist your neck like this in an instant. Chin Chuan smiled and hooked Kira Yoshihiro's shoulders and said, If you know what's going on, just follow me obediently. Although no shot was fired, Chin Chuan's grip put even greater pressure on Yoshihiro Kira. That seemingly ordinary right hand could actually hold the pistol into twisted scrap metal. Kira Yoshihiro didn't think that his neck could be stronger than the pistol. But now, Chin Chuan is arm in arm with him, and the arm is on his shoulder. If he behaves disobediently, 
he can imagine that his eyes will rotate 360 degrees in an instant. Just like that, an old man and a young man walked out of the clothing store side by side. Although it looked strange, at least it was more normal than the threatening posture with a gun. The clerk in the clothing store looked at them with a speechless expression. The two people walked into the store and walked around before leaving without buying anything. As for when they realized that there was a problem between Kira Yoshihiro and Chin Chuan, they had to wait until about 10 minutes later when they found broken pistol parts and bullets on the ground. Before that, Chin Chuan had already taken Kira Yoshihiro to an uninhabited corner and cleaned up all the property he could get. Although he had already expected that Kira Yoshihiro would definitely carry a lot of property, Chin Chuan couldn't help but be a little stunned when he found a large amount of cash from Kira Yoshihiro's bag. Bringing out so much cash, you must have just robbed a bank, right? Looking at the large banknotes in his hands and the cash in his bag that was too much to hold with both hands, Chin Chuan had some doubts about where Yoshihiro Kira got so much cash. Although it is only the 1980s and mobile payment methods are still far behind, not everyone would bring so much cash to travel abroad, right? Just in case, facing Chin Chuan's doubts, Yoshihiro Kira only dared to answer cautiously, he had seen Chin Chuan's power clearly, so naturally he did not dare to resist Chin Chuan. As Chin Chuan had learned before, Kira Yoshihiro's ancestors were once rich. Although the land left behind now only has a large house in Morio town, there are still a lot of liquid assets. Chin Chuan vaguely remembered that when Kira Yoshikage introduced his family's situation, he complained about his family's decline. Chin Chuan suspected that it was because Kira Yoshihiro spent too much money to buy that arrow. I don't know if there is really any theory of world line correction. Maybe Yoshihiro Kira really felt that it would cost a lot of money to come to Egypt, so he withdrew so much cash. But regardless of whether that was the case or not, the cash had already fallen into Chin Chuan's hands anyway. Even if Kira Yoshihiro went to Enya's place again, he would not be able to spend money to buy arrows. Enya had spent a lot of real money to buy the five arrows from Diavolo. If Yoshihiro Kira couldn't pay for them, Enya couldn't have sold them to him at a low price. This little old man doesn't have the charisma to attract evildoers like Dio. I've given you the money, so now, dot can I leave? Kira Yoshihiro watched Chin Chuan counting the money with trepidation, with a flattering smile on his face. He did not dare to point fingers at Chin Chuan, but hoped that Chin Chuan would let him go after collecting the money. He also thought about it. After leaving, he would immediately book a flight back to Japan. He would stay far away from this devil and would never come to Egypt again. As for calling the police or deliberately retaliating, to be honest, Kira Yoshihiro really didn't have this idea. The reason is also very simple. When Chin Chuan took out a pistol and threatened himself just now, he clearly said the title, Mr. Kira. Kira Yoshihiro remembered clearly that he had never taken the initiative to tell anyone his name during these days, but Chin Chuan could call him by his last name. Does this mean that he knew him? Although Kira Yoshihiro couldn't think of where he had seen Chin Chuan, the face of the other person and his own Asian face made him naturally think that the other person might also be a resident of Morio town. So he decided that not only would he never come to Egypt again after he returned, he would even move out of Duwang town to avoid being worried about this guy again. Walk, Chin Chuan looked at Kira Yoshihiro, sneered, and then kicked Kira Yoshihiro in the neck before he could react. The terrifying force broke Kira Yoshihiro's neck in an instant, and his body flew out and hit the ground. His eyes widened and he stared at Chin Chuan, as if he didn't expect that Chin Chuan would do it as soon as he said it, without giving him any time to react. Yoshihiro Kira was an out-and-out -out scumbag, and Chin Chuan certainly had no need to let him go. Although he felt that there was a high probability that he would not have the guts to call the police, in order to prevent unnecessary complications, he decided to kill him directly. In fact, if he had used a little more force and kicked a little higher, he could have directly kicked Kira Yoshihiro's head into pieces, allowing him to walk away without any pain. But in that case, Chin Chuan's 20,000 yen pants would be stained with dirty flesh and blood, which was quite disgusting to think about. So Chin Chuan's kick only broke his neck, allowing him to die on his own. Although Kira Yoshihiro would be a little more painful, it would not cause anything he shouldn't touch to get on his pants. Anyway, 
No matter how painful Kira Yoshihiro's death was, Chin Chuan would not feel any guilt. Who made him do a lot of evil things to protect his murderous son? Ga, Kira Yoshihiro opened his mouth, as if he wanted to say something, but soon lost his breath. Chin Chuan could feel that the chi in his body gradually decreased until it finally dissipated completely. As for this guy's son Yoshikage Kira, he should still be living in Morio Town in Japan, right? It was impossible for Chin Chuan to go out of his way to kill him too. Anyway, without his father's protection, Kira Yoshikage wouldn't be able to survive for long. He remembered that Yoshikage Kira had already killed the first person in 1983, so Yoshikage Kira was already a scourge now. However, the reason why Yoshikage Kira was able to be a serial killer for decades without being discovered was mainly because the arrow that Yoshihiro Kira brought back allowed him to awaken the stand-in, Killer Queen, and with the help of its ability to destroy corpses and eliminate traces, he was able to hidden for so long. Now that Kira Yoshihiro has died here, it is impossible for the arrow to be sent back to Morio Town. Then Kira Yoshikage will not awaken the Killer Queen in the future and lose his powerful ability to destroy corpses and traces. It will only be a matter of time before he is caught. Question. Looking at Kira Yoshihiro's body, Chin Chuan raised his hand and released a Qigong wave, completely destroying Kira Yoshihiro's body without leaving any trace. In this way, you will have enough money to buy the arrows. Chin Chuan put the cash back into Kira Yoshihiro's bag, he just counted the money in it, and it was enough to buy Anya's arrow, and there would be a lot left over. It has only been close to three hours since he entered the world of Jojo, and there are still five full hours left, enough for him to find a quiet place to awaken his avatar after buying arrows, and figure out the avatar's abilities. If the progress were faster, maybe he could break into Dio's mansion directly and complete the main mission today. If it can be done, it can be regarded as a one-day speed through the main mission of Jojo World. Considering that the progress so far is still 1% of the main mission of Dragon Ball World, the gap is not small. Now Chin Chuan can only pray in his heart that the substitute he awakens will not have too bad abilities, and it is best to be a humanoid substitute. Because the characteristic of humanoid avatars is that they can attach themselves to the main body and use the main body to launch attacks on the avatars. In this way, even if the panel of one's own avatar is extremely different and is attached to one's body, allowing one to attack other people's avatars, one's own combat power will be able to beat the shit out of other people's avatars. Oh, did you get the money together so quickly? I'm ready to wait until tomorrow. In the market, when she saw Chen Chuan who had returned after more than two hours, Enya had a faint smile on her face, like an ordinary old woman who was harmless to humans and animals. Chin Chuan didn't mean to expose her, he just nodded calmly, then took out the bag that originally belonged to Kira Yoshihiro and put it on the shop. Yeah, the money is here, just order some. The bag contained exactly the amount of cash that Enya had quoted before. Chin Chuan took out the extra money, bought another satchel, and put it in the satchel. After all, he would use the money to leave the center of Cairo, find a hotel room, and quietly awaken his own substitute there, so he still needed some money to spare. As for why the avatar is not awakened directly in the center of Cairo, the main reason is that when the avatar first awakens, it is possible for the avatar to go berserk. For example, the protagonist of the third part of Jojo is Jotaro Kujo. His stand-in, Platinum Star, was completely out of control when he first awakened. He beat people everywhere and even brought many things to Jotaro Kujo. If this happens to Chin Chuan's stand-in, wouldn't it be equivalent to shouting, Attention everyone, look at me, look at me, let me announce something, I am the new stand-in messenger, under Dior's nose. Before he was sure about his stand-in ability, Chin Chuan thought it would be better not to be so high profile. Once he was sure of his stand-in ability, it would be too late to make a high profile appearance in front of Dior. Open a quiet room away from the city center. Even if the substitute runs around when he first wakes up, he will not be discovered by Dio and his men. Hum. Dot the quantity is just right, then this arrow is yours. Enya didn't act very grand, but like a Philistine businessman, she took out the cash in the bag and counted it carefully, and finally confirmed that the amount was correct. Chin Chuan also noticed that after Enya took out the large amounts of cash from her bag, many people around her cast greedy glances. After all, 
Enya looks like a stinky old woman, and her body bones look like they will fall down if the wind blows for a while. And with so much money in her hand, she will definitely be stared at. But if these people really dare to take action against Enya, I'm afraid they will be the only ones who die. Enya's substitute, Justice, will let them know what it means to live but not to die. But Chin Chuan didn't care whether these people would take action against Enya in the future, or whether Enya would do anything to her. He closed the long box with the arrow, took it in his hand, and was about to leave. By the way, young man, although I don't care where your money comes from, if you encounter difficulties, you can always come to me. Enya spoke again. There was still the bag full of cash on her shop, but the zipper of the bag had been zipped up. From the outside, it was impossible to imagine how many banknotes were stuffed inside. And Enya's words seemed very meaningful. Chin Chuan took a closer look, and his heart suddenly sank, because he followed Enya's line of sight and saw something stained on the bag full of cash. It was a trace of blood, which seemed to be the blood that Chin Chuan spat out of Kira Yoshihiro's mouth when he kicked him and broke his neck. The blood stained the corners of the bag, but Chin Chuan didn't pay attention. But Enya noticed it, so she obviously realized that Chin Chuan's money came from an unfair source, but she didn't care where the money came from. The reason why Dio, whom Enya admires, can gain a large number of supporters from evil people is because Dio will accept, approve and tolerate their evil. Granny Enya, one of Dior's biggest fans, of course accepted this concept, so even if Chin Chuan obtained the money through evil means, she didn't think there was any problem. On the contrary, she even felt that Chin Chuan was perfect for joining Dior. We still have some influence in Cairo. We can help you solve some problems and even tell you the true use of that arrow. Enya smiled sadly, and looked at Chin Chuan with much recognition. If you are willing to pay some compensation in exchange for some help, then come to me at any time. I should be here in the future. When Chin Chuan heard this, he didn't say much. He just nodded to Enya and left with the arrow. During this period, he had been sensing the chi around him to prevent Enya from controlling others to follow him. But until he walked out of the market, he didn't feel any abnormal chi anymore. It seems that there is indeed no conspiracy behind Enya selling this arrow, and it is really just to exchange for funds otherwise, it is impossible for an ordinary person like Kira Yoshihiro to leave Egypt safely with the arrow under the plan of Enya, the substitute messenger. As for what Enya said to Chin Chuan about paying a reward in exchange for help, I'm afraid it's not as simple as paying cash. It is most likely to require Chin Chuan to serve under Dio on the condition of awakening the substitute. At this point, Chin Chuan couldn't be more grateful. The way to awaken the avatar was just to get a wound from an arrow. It was not a complicated matter. Chin Chuan did not need to rely on Dio and others. As for the look in Enya's eyes that already regarded her as a companion, it can only be said that she is indeed overthinking. Dio does have a certain personality charm, but it is still far from the level that can be recognized by him. He is a Saiyan in the Dragon Ball world, and all he has seen are ruthless people who destroy planets at every turn. In his opinion, Dio's pattern is really not good. What's more, Dio is still his must-kill target in the main mission. No matter how you look at it, it's impossible for him to stand on the same front as Dio. As for joining Dio, he might be able to transform into a vampire. Come on, vampires in the Jojo worldview are useless except for their acceptable resilience. Chin Chuan didn't want to become a scumbag who would die in public. Thinking like this, Chin Chuan opened the system panel and found that the panel had changed. Current World Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Main Mission Destroy Dio Synchronization of Player Kobold Strength 10% Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. Obviously, from the system's perspective, Chin Chuan obtained the arrow and was working hard to eliminate Dio and advance the main mission, so the strength synchronization rate was directly increased to 10%. It's a pity that Chin Chuan has not gained any strength in the Jojo world, and there is nothing when he synchronizes it. He still has to wake up the substitute first. After taking the bus back to the outermost area of Cairo and finding a hotel room, Chin Chuan sat on the bed, holding the arrow he took out of the box, feeling a little nervous. He could faintly feel that the arrow seemed to be choosing him, which gradually let go of some of his original worries. 
After all, awakening a substitute has nothing to do with the strength of the main body. It all depends on qualifications. No matter how strong a person's physical fitness is, a person without qualifications will still be unable to awaken the substitute after being stabbed by an arrow. But this arrow is still a little different. As the arrow used by Kira Yoshihiro in the fourth part, this arrow itself has the power to automatically find people with stand-in qualifications. In the plot of the fourth part of Jojo, Yoshihiro Kira relied on the automatic search ability of this arrow to find many guys with stand-in qualifications, awaken stand-ins for them, and ask them to intercept the protagonist and his party. Now, this arrow is like a compass with very weak magnetic force. Although it is not pointing straight at him, Chin Chuan can feel that this arrow has a tendency to be aimed at him. This also means that this arrow recognizes its own qualifications and believes that it can awaken a substitute. The target that this arrow seeks in the original work has all awakened its avatar without exception, and the accuracy can be said to be 100%, so Chin Chuan is not worried now that he cannot awaken his avatar. What he is nervous about now is what kind of abilities his stand-in has. Instead of asking for a time-based ability, it would be nice to have an ability similar to Heaven's Gate. Let me see the power of the stand-in in the Jojo world. Chin Chuan raised the arrow with his right hand and stabbed his left hand hard, although according to the sixth part, just scratching the finger can awaken the substitute, but he felt that people still need to have a sense of ritual. Well, the main reason is that the strength of the awakened substitute of Shulun Kujo, the protagonist of the sixth part, is not very high, which makes him feel that the wound left by the arrow is not big enough. Although it might just be metaphysics, Chin Chuan still chose to be safe. Anyway, his hand was pierced with a slit. With his physique strengthened with Qi, he would recover much faster than ordinary people and it would not affect the battle. The next moment, the sharp arrow blade pierced Chin Chuan's palm, and then clang, the arrow blade seemed to have pierced a tough object. Although it dented Chin Chuan's skin a little, it did not pierce Chin Chuan's left hand at all. Quote dot dot dot. Ah, by the way, I forgot to remove the Qi. Chin Chuan was stunned for a moment, and then he remembered that in order to ensure that he would not follow the footsteps of Wukong in Dragon Ball, he now kept his Qi flowing throughout his body almost all the time. The physical strength in the Dragon Ball world is indeed very high, but it basically relies on the existence of Qi. Once a person relaxes too much and does not use Qi to protect the whole body, the strength of the body will plummet. In Dragon Ball Super, Sun Wukong was scratched by bullets from some robbers while plowing the fields. He was knocked down by a tranquilizer gun in the future world. When Frieza invaded the Earth, he was pierced by a laser gun. He retreated after relaxing, caused by losing Qi. Of course, Chin Chuan didn't want to be like Sun Wukong, who obviously had powerful power but capsized in such a gutter. Therefore, after gaining absolute control over Qi, he has been trying to protect his whole body with Qi as a habit. In fact, in the past two days, he has gradually become accustomed to this feeling. The protection of Qi will not turn his whole body into iron lumps. Even if he touches it, he is still no different from ordinary people. But it's not that simple to break his defense. Because he was completely accustomed to this state, Chin Chuan had forgotten that his body was still protected by Qi, just now, so when the arrow pierced it, it failed to leave even a trace. But this also means that I have indeed become accustomed to using Qi to protect my body, and it can be said to have achieved initial results. Chin Chuan nodded with satisfaction, took off the protection of Qi from his left hand, and gathered some Qi from his right hand to slightly strengthen the arrow in his hand. Using Qi to strengthen weapons is also very common in Dragon Ball. The sword in Trunks's hand can easily cut Frieza into pieces, but the Kurdish king can't scratch Trunks' skin with the same sword. Chin Chuan can also use Qi to strengthen arrows, mainly to make the arrows sharper so as not to pierce his hand painfully enough and cause him more pain. The next moment, Chin Chuan stabbed hard with his right hand, and his left hand was penetrated easily. A stinging pain came from the palm of his hand. Then, under Chin Chu's perception, a mysterious power began to surge along the wound. Chin Chuan knew that this was probably the virus on the arrow. The principle of arrows to awaken a substitute is very simple. 
These arrows made of extraterrestrial meteorites are host to alien viruses, which will invade the human body along the wounds. The virus is lethal. If an average person does not have sufficient qualifications, they will be directly eroded to death by the virus, while people with qualifications will be immune to the threat posed by the virus. Those who survive, just like being rewarded by the survival of the fittest, will awaken the power called, substitute, and receive all-round changes from the spiritual and soul levels. These viruses are not, stand-ins, themselves, but more like some kind of auxiliary program for screening. Under the perception of, Qi, Chin Chuan could feel something intruding into the wound on his left hand, but soon, Chin Chuan felt that his left hand gradually no longer hurt, and even the original wound gradually healed. Chin Chuan looked at this scene and understood. The virus, screening of him was over, and he passed the test of the virus with almost no pain. As the wound healed, Chin Chuan felt that his spirit and soul had also transformed, and a new power was about to burst out of his body, just like an animal shedding its skin. What's even more amazing is that for some reason, Chin Chuan subconsciously thought of a name, like an innate instinct, Chin Chuan drank softly. Blackbird. The next moment, Black shadows spurted out from Chin Chuan's back, and black matter-like mud swirled around, gradually forming a tall figure. The jet black bird feather shawl, the flowing black hair, the clothes covered with black nails, and the body almost completely made of black constitute Chin Chuan's new power. Chin Chuan turned around and looked at the tall black figure, the figure was like his own limbs, able to move with his own thoughts and containing powerful spiritual power. This is my stand-in. Blackbird. Chapter 41. Current World. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Main Mission. Destroy Dio. Synchronization of Player Kobold Strength, 30%. Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. After awakening the substitute, Blackbird, Chin Chuan's synchronization rate directly reached 30%. Obviously, the system felt that after Chin Chuan awakened as a substitute, the possibility of destroying Dio increased significantly, so it gave Chin Chuan a 20% synchronization rate in one go. Before, in the Dragon Ball world, every time Soso -so would only increase his synchronization rate by a few tenths of a percent, but now in the Jojo world, he was so generous all of a sudden, which actually made Chin Chuan a little uncomfortable. After getting the substitute, what Chin Chuan had to do was of course test his substitute's strength first. After all, this was directly related to his state when he wanted to fight Dior later. Testing in the room was naturally not very good and would easily disturb the public, so Chin Chuan chose to go to the alley behind the hotel. Chin Chuan was feeling a little annoyed with the fact that he kept going into the alley recently. But there is nothing we can do about it. Who can make the alley less crowded? The power of the black bird. Dot try your fist first. Chin Chuan called out black bird and a dark humanoid stand appeared next to him. Under Chin Chuan's control, Black Bird reached out and picked up the bricks on the ground and squeezed them gently. Crackle. The bricks were as vulnerable as mung bean cakes, and were easily crushed into powder in the hands of the Black Bird, which shows the great power of the Black Bird. But, Chin Chuan always felt that something was not right, or in other words, the power of the Black Bird made him feel inexplicably familiar. Could it be? Chin Chuan turned around and looked at the wall on the side, this wall was just an abandoned wall. A large number of bricks were piled up randomly and plastered with cement. It had no special purpose. In other words, it doesn't matter even if this wall is destroyed, it can be used as a sandbag for Chin Chuan to test his strength. Punch with Blackbird, at the same time. Chin Chuan was on the right, and Blackbird was on the left. The next moment, Two fists hit the left and right sides of the wall almost simultaneously. The terrifying force shattered the wall, and a large amount of gravel flew out and hit the ground. Chin Chuan's eyes narrowed slightly, looking at the gravel on the ground, and he quickly saw the clues. So, it's not that the blackbird's own power is strong enough, but that its power is completely synchronized with my body's power. Chin Chuan clenched his fist hard, and blackbird also clenched his fist, he could feel now that his fist and Blackbird's fist were both gathering great power. This is undoubtedly good news for Chin Chuan, because if his Blackbird and other avatars in the Jojo world are completely controlled by the panel, then it will be torn down to the level of a building. The Platinum Star, known as the Ceiling of Avatar Power, has an outstanding performance in Jojo, but if it were placed in the Dragon Ball world, 
To put it bluntly, it would not survive the first part. If the Blackbird's power is at the level of a platinum star, its future role will probably be to attach itself to Qin Chuan's body and provide Qin Chuan with a way to attack avatars and other spiritual energy. Possessing a substitute on one's body is a very common behavior in the Jojo world. For people in this world, possessing a substitute usually means strengthening, but for Qin Chuan, this may not be the case. But now, Qin Chuan knows that the Black Bird's power is completely synchronized with his own, which means that when Qin Chuan's power synchronized from the Dragon Ball world is strong enough in the future, the Black Bird's power will also increase accordingly. Blackbird is like a clone that perfectly replicates his own strength. As long as Blackbird is around from now on, Qin Chuan will be like two of himself fighting each other. In the same level of battle, the advantage can be said to be greatly improved. If the Blackbird were in the hands of an ordinary person, its panel strength would not be too high, because the average person's power was only that high. But in the hands of Qin Chuan, the upper limit of the Blackbird is extremely exaggerated. As long as Qin Chuan's power can continue to increase, the Black Bird's power can also continue to increase. In this way, at least in terms of strength, Dio and his stand-in world have nothing to worry about. They only need to consider bypassing his time stop and slamming my fist onto his head. Qin Chuan turned and walked towards the hotel, preparing to go back and think about how to approach Dio. For Qin Chuan, Dio's proud resilience as a vampire is nothing. As long as it causes enough damage to his brain, it can destroy his mind and make him unable to recover in a short time. Once Qin Chuan's fist hits Dior's head, most of his brain will probably be shattered. It's unclear whether Dior will be able to get up by then. Compared with Dior, Qin Chuan is actually more worried about Dior's subordinates, especially since he has a sincere and somewhat paranoid subordinate, Vanilla Ace. That guy's stand-in, Arcane Miasma, is out and out spatial capabilities. In many works, spatial abilities are very terrifying and often have the effect of ignoring defense. Even Qin Chuan has to guard against his presence. Quote dot 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 quote. Thinking of this, Qin Chuan stopped, ahead was the door of the hotel where he had just checked in, but Qin Chuan felt something was wrong. Qin Chuan's perception of Qi made him notice something unusual, when he left, there were clearly many peoples, Qi, in the hotel, but now, the hotel seemed empty. Qin Chuan's perception of, Qi, has become very good in the past few days. He can be sure that he did not perceive anything wrong. The, Qi, of everyone in the hotel seems to have disappeared. Either all the passengers in the hotel and the boss had left in the short 10 minutes since he left the hotel, or, everyone inside was dead. Dio lives in Cairo and he has just bought arrows from Enya, who is under Dio. Although in the original work, Kira Yoshihiro successfully left Egypt with the arrows, it seems that he will not leave so easily. Blackbird, following Chin Chuan's call, Blackbird's figure instantly appeared behind him, and he bent down to grab a piece of gravel from the ground, and threw it fiercely at the ajar door of the hotel. This is the power that was perfectly inherited from Chin Chuan. With Blackbird's throw, the gravel instantly made a violent friction sound with the air, and shot into the hotel door in an instant, and then disappeared into the air out of thin air. Seeing this scene, Chin Chuan immediately realized who the visitor was, his expression changed, and he quickly turned around and dodged to the side. The next moment, a gust of wind pressure passed by Chin Chuan, and a smooth hemispherical hole was dug out on the ground where Chin Chuan was originally standing. It was as smooth as if it had been designed this way from the beginning. It really means that Cao Cao and Cao Cao have arrived. Qin Chuan looked at the smooth marks. This attack method was undoubtedly caused by the opponent digging out the entire spherical space from this area. The one who can do this is the subordinate of Dio whom Qin Chuan was wary of just now, Vanilla Ace. And its space-destroying stand-in, Archon Miasma. Your name is Qin Chuan, right? In the void, a deep male voice slowly came out. Under Qin Chuan's gaze, a demon-like head slowly emerged from the midair in front of him. This head is part of Vanilla Ace's substitute, Miasma, and the lower body of this substitute was twisted and stuffed into his mouth. The ability of subspace Miasma is to connect the space of the location through that mouth, and it can use this mouth to eat the spherical space, thereby achieving the effect of eliminating the spherical space. In the mouth of Archon Miasma, Vanilla Ace's face slowly emerged, 
he hid his body in the space in the mouth of Archon Miasma, so that others could not attack him. At this time, he stuck his head out and spoke to Qin Chuan, as if he was exerting meaningless pressure on Qin Chuan. But Qin Chuan knew that this was actually Vanilla taking this opportunity to observe his position. Vanilla puts her own body in the mouth of the substitute, which will prevent him from observing the external environment and can only run around like a headless fly. Therefore, when he wants to carry out a precise attack on the target, he must first stick his head out to see the target's position clearly, or predict the target's running direction, and then control the avatar to rush forward and eliminate the space. Did you see it in the hotel register? Vanilla was confirming her position, so why wasn't Chin Chuan confirming Vanilla's position? Vanilla's double is indeed troublesome, but you just need to seize the moment when he sticks his head out and attack. At this time, Vanilla should not have been transformed into a vampire by Dio with bloodlike in the original work, so she can appear in the sun. But it also meant that if Chin Chuan punched him in the head, he would not be able to survive. However, it was indeed Chin Chuan's fault that Vanilla could call out his name. When he signed the hotel's registration book just now, he subconsciously signed his real name. This directly caused Vanilla to already know his name at this time. But the problem is not big, as long as Vanilla is killed here so that he cannot go back to report. If Chin Chuan encounters this kind of situation again in the future, he will learn a lesson and write it under a pseudonym. Yes, you bought the arrow from Enya, so I want to confirm your situation. If you are not a threat to Lord Dio, then I can let you go. There was a hint of coldness in Vanilla's voice, and her eyes looking at Chin Chuan were filled with a hint of anger. But the moment I saw you, I could tell, you have deep malice towards Master Dio. Although I don't know if you are with Joestar's group, I must get rid of you. So that's the case. Now Chin Chuan also understood. It turns out that in the original work, after Kira Yoshihiro bought the arrow from Enya, he was probably also secretly observed by Vanilla. But Yoshihiro Kira didn't know Dior or the Joestar family at all, so Vanilla judged that Yoshihiro Kira was no threat and allowed him to leave Egypt. But Chin Chuan was different. Chin Chuan knew about Dior, and Dior was still his target. Vanilla, the brainless Dior fan, actually felt this. In the eyes of ordinary people, this is unbelievable, but in the original work, Vanilla Ace showed an extraordinary obsession with Dior, and even took the initiative to cut off her own head for Dior. For this reason, he could sense other people's malice toward Dio, and Chin Chuan actually felt that he could understand it. Chin Chuan, I will tear you into pieces and bring the arrow back to Lord Dio. Putting down her harsh words, Vanilla locked her eyes on Chin Chuan's position, then retracted her head, and the subterranean miasma disappeared from Chin Chuan's eyes. But Chin Chuan knew that the subterranean miasma only seemed to have disappeared. In fact, it was rushing towards him in another space, as long as he was hit by it, his body would be cut off from the space. Moreover, the Archon Miasma may not rush straight towards Chinchuan. It may also rush towards Chinchuan's left or right. Therefore, Chinchuan must judge the direction of the Archon Miasma in order to avoid the path being cut. If it were an ordinary person, they would probably have to gamble at this time and choose a direction from the left, middle and right to dodge, but Chinchuan was different. He directly raised his hand and punched the ground below. Boom! The ground was smashed by the terrifying punch, revealing a huge pit. Chin Chuan's body fell into the pit, and then he looked up. Swisha A. Sure enough, the next moment, the sound of space being sliced AA out was heard above Chin Chuan's head, and then the head of Akon Miasma appeared. Vanilla's face appeared in the mouth of Akon Miasma, wanting to see if he had hit Chin. Sichuan. However, Vanilla obviously didn't notice that Chin Chuan was already underneath him. Blackbird. The black stand and instantly appeared in front of Chin Chuan, and punched the Akon Miasma above him hard. The target was Vanilla's head that the Akon Miasma was talking about. What? However, Vanilla actually noticed it in advance. The moment the Miasma of the air appeared, Vanilla felt that there was nothing beneath her feet. When she lowered her head, she saw that there was a huge pit under her feet. Judging from the shape of the pit, it was obviously smashed in. In the deep pit, Chin Chuan's figure was clearly visible, and his substitute Blackbird was already standing directly under the miasma of the air, hitting his face with a huge fist. A strong fear welled up in Vanilla's heart. He had a feeling that once he was hit by this substitute's fist, 
half of his head would be smashed into pieces, as if it had been cut off by arch and miasma. Extreme fear and being aware of the crisis in advance made him quickly retract his head towards the mouth of Akon Miasma, but the other person retracted, and Akon Miasma's body had no time to return to the different space. Boom! Blackbird's fist hit the shoulder of Archon Miyasaki impartially, instantly tearing the body of Archon Miasma into pieces. Vanilla's screams also came from the mouth of Archon Miasma. Ah, you! The next moment, Vanilla endured the pain and let the miasma of the air devour itself again, disappeared in front of Chin Chuan, and hid in a different space. But in the deep pit, an arm and a leg fell. These were not Vanilla's limbs, but parts of the subspace miasma that were blasted to pieces by the black bird. The parts of the stand-in were broken. According to the injuries of the stand-in, which will be reflected back to the main body, Vanilla should also be missing one arm and one foot now. Chin Chuan glanced at the limbs of the Akon Miasma under his feet, frowned and looked at the place where the Akon Miasma disappeared. It's a pity that I couldn't kill him with one punch and let him hide in a different space. It doesn't matter. The second punch will finish him off. Who is this guy? He can smash such a big hole with one punch. Is he also a vampire like Master Dio? In the Miasma of the Air, Vanilla's left hand and left leg were broken. He gritted his teeth. His eyes flashed with hatred for Chin Chuan, and he was puzzled and afraid of the power of Chin Chuan's punch to create a huge pit. In his opinion, ordinary people are simply unable to do such a thing. But he saw just now that Chin Chuan only called out the substitute when he was attacking him. In other words, Chin Chuan had smashed the deep hole with his own hands. Only a vampire like Dio can have physical strength beyond ordinary people, but whether the Lord Dio she respected can achieve such power. To be honest, Vanilla was not sure. His reason told him that even Dio, a vampire, could not punch such a big hole with one punch, but his admiration for Dio made him unable to deny Dio's power. No matter what he is, he has destroyed my body, which was created for Lord Dio, into this state. I will completely erase him. But soon, he put these things behind him, replaced by deep anger, he roared, controlled the air miasma and began to circle towards Chin Chuan. That's right, hiding in the mouth of Arch and Miasma, he cannot observe the outside world through his eyes. This will make it impossible for him to determine the specific direction of the opponent and make it difficult to launch an attack that can actually hit the enemy. But as long as he uses space to draw a huge circle like a mosquito coil, and keeps spiraling towards the center of the circle, then it will be impossible for the enemy to escape from his space. Just like building a circular wall with rapid space removal and continuously compressing this wall, people trapped in the wall called, space removal, cannot escape. It seems that this guy really got into trouble and attacked me in this way so quickly. Chin Chuan stood in the deep pit and soon noticed that the surrounding space began to be frantically cut away like a spiral. A large amount of cement and objects were swallowed up and disappeared into the alien space. The fire hydrant not far away was cut off in half, and a large amount of water gushes out. The phone booth in front was partially cut off, exposing the mechanical parts of the phone inside. The trees beside the street were broken and fell to the ground. Vanilla obviously doesn't care whether ordinary people will notice the tragedy here. After all, this guy has killed everyone in the hotel, which shows that he has no feelings for ordinary people. Polnareff, a member of the protagonist group in the original work, could hardly think of a countermeasure when faced with this move, but Chin Chuan was different. Chin Chuan could still crack this method of spirally cutting away space and approaching. His physical strength is not comparable to that of Polnareff, and he did not have half of his feet cut off like Polnareff in the original work. As long as he jumps hard, he can jump to Vanilla and cut off half of his feet, to the place. But at the same time, Vanilla may have also considered this, he must have known that Chin Chuan was very powerful and could jump very high, so the other party may have prevented Chin Chuan from escaping from the air. Space deletion is indeed a troublesome ability. Chin Chuan squinted and watched as the spherical space continued to draw spiral circles on the outside of him, and gradually moved closer to him. Then, he lowered his head and looked at his feet. There was also a hand and a foot of a Kong miasma lying at his feet, Logically speaking, these two stand-in parts were of little significance to Chin Chuan. After all, the stand-in was only the embodiment of mental power and had no entity. But Chin Chuan vaguely felt something. 
He looked at the black bird next to him, and the black bird seemed to obey Chin Chuan's inner thoughts and bent down to pick up the hand and foot from the ground. Tina A. Put it into his body that is as black as ink. A. Disappear. Chin Chuan. Buzz. The next moment, the spherical space cut arrived at Chin Chuan's location. The terrifying space force cut out a spherical hole where Chin Chuan was originally located, which even seemed to be a little larger than the surrounding cutout area. Perhaps it was Vanilla's hatred for Chin Chuan that allowed him to expand his range of abilities a little when he eliminated Chin Chuan's position. Did it disappear? Was it completely eliminated by the Archon Miasma? The figure of Archon Miasma once again emerged with the end of the space removal, but compared to its appearance at the beginning, the Archon Miasma was missing a hand at this time, and the foot that was swallowed in its mouth also disappeared, which made it look a little bit embarrassed. Vanilla, on the other hand, was dressed in rough clothes and looked around from the mouth of the miasma of the air, there was nothing in front, nothing on the left, nothing on the right, nothing behind, nothing even above and below. It seemed that Chin Chuan had really been cut away by his Akon miasma, leaving not even a trace. But Vanilla knew very well that he had not cut anything just now. The essence of subspace miasma's space cutting is to eat space with subconium miasma's mouth, that is to say, his space cutting is actually eating, and he can still tell whether he has bitten something in his mouth. But soon, Vanilla discovered that there was a mass of black stuff left not far away from where the spiral had been cut off by her. Maintaining the posture of shrinking into the mouth of a Kong miasma, Vanilla quickly floated over, and then saw clearly what the things on the ground were. It was a black humanoid object with only the lower body, and Vanilla had an impression of this kind of thing. Chin Chuan stand in, Blackbird, was a humanoid stand in that was completely black. So, when I was spiraling towards him, he was already cut into two pieces by me. Seeing this scene, Vanilla's mood instantly relaxed a lot. After confirming that Chin Chuan's double had been cut in half, it was naturally impossible for Chin Chuan to survive. He did not cut anything with his last bite, but that seemed to be because Chin Chuan had already been cut in the upper body by him before that. The substitute's injuries are synchronized with the original body. His subcontracting miasma broke one arm and one leg, causing one of his own arms and legs to be broken as well, and he was still in pain at this time. HMPH, Chin Chuan, although I couldn't let him die in the most painful state, that guy's strength really shouldn't be underestimated. This may be the safest outcome. Vanilla stuck her head out again, probably because she felt that Chin Chuan was too dead to die anymore, so this time Vanilla even stretched her neck out of the mouth of Akon Miasma. It seemed as if he wanted to get closer to the black half of the body, trying to see clearly the death state of Chin Chuan's substitute. Even though Chin Chuan's body was thrown somewhere, just seeing the miserable state of his substitute was enough to make him feel much better. Thank you, Vanilla Ace. Just when Vanilla was trying to stretch her neck deeply to see clearly the dead form of the black bird, a hand suddenly stretched out from the void and grabbed Vanilla's neck straight. Then with his panicked expression, he was forcefully pulled out of Yakong Miasma's mouth. That strange power, even with all the strength of Vanilla, could not compete with it. It was like a human being catching bugs, with an insurmountable gap, not to mention that Vanilla was missing one hand and one at this time. Only feet. This, this is. Under Vanilla's horrified gaze, a black substance slowly emerged from the root of the hand that emerged from the void, and then gradually expanded to look like a black bird. And Chin Chuan slowly walked out of the shadow of the black bird, the hand grabbing Vanilla's neck was Chin Chuan's right hand. There is no doubt that with just a little force from Chin Chuan's right hand, Vanilla's neck will be easily broken like a Cantonese twisting the neck of a chicken. But what Vanilla cares more about is the way Blackbird appears. Could it be that the ability your substitute uses is? It seems that you have recognized it. Yes, it is your ability of, Aerial Miasma. A malicious smile appeared on Chin Chuan's face. Just now, driven by his instinct, he let the Blackbird swallow part of the short limb of the Akon Miasma into his body. Then he understood that his stand-in, Blackbird, was not a blank slate that simply copied his own power, but a stand-in that had the ability to swallow objects to gain their abilities. After swallowing part of the limbs of the subspace miasma, the Blackbird also gained the ability to connect to different spaces. Now the Blackbird can also perform space removal and use different spaces to accommodate Chinchuan's body. 
Of course, it can also be done by swallowing the blackbird's own body into a different space and disappearing in front of others. How could it be? I clearly saw the lower body of your blackbird. Vanilla's eyes were filled with bloodshot eyes, and she focused on the black half of the body not far away. It was the black lower body that made Vanilla think Chin Chuan was dead, so she stretched out her neck without warning and was finally caught by Chin Chuan. What? Don't you recognize the people you killed anymore? Chin Chuan sneered, and the black bird behind him grabbed the half of the black body and threw it over, landing in front of Chin Chuan and Vanilla. Only then did Vanilla see clearly that the reason why this half of the body was completely black was entirely because it was covered with black ink. This is the lower body of the innkeeper you killed. His body, along with the bottles of black ink on the counter, were pulled out of the hotel door by the wind pressure when you cut away the space. Chin Chuan looked at Vanilla and said lightly, You are hiding in the miasma of the air, and you can't see the outside situation at all. I will use the ink to dye his lower body black and leave it aside to see if I can lure you to come out. Vanilla's face suddenly turned pale. He indeed saw the pure black lower body and subconsciously thought it was the body of a black bird. And when he thought he was going to kill Chin Chuan, Chin Chuan used the ability of the subspace miasma, swallowed by the black bird to hide in a different space, waiting for him to take the initiative to stick out his neck. How is it possible to have such ability? Vanilla's eyes were wide open, staring at the black bird behind Chin Chuan, as if she instinctively wanted to oppose the existence of this ability. But the fact is that Chin Chuan did come out of the black bird's body just now. Although the black bird also has the ability of sub-empty miasma, the way of expression is completely different. The black bird will not swallow Chin Chuan with its mouth like the yak in miasma, but will directly let Chin Chuan's body merge into his body, just like blending into his own shadow. This scene undoubtedly shows that Blackbird has indeed acquired the ability of Arch and Miasma. He wanted to let the subterranean Miasma cut off Chin Chuan and the Blackbird behind him, but with his neck being strangled, he already felt that his brain was lacking oxygen. As his consciousness gradually blurred, he was no longer able to control his substitute. Akon Miasma just raised his hand with difficulty behind him, and then there was no movement. Thank you for your hard work, Vanilla Ace. You allowed me to discover the true ability of the black bird, and provided me with the space to eliminate such an important power. I will remember your efforts. Chin Chuan looked at the pale vanilla ace coldly. His performance also confirmed Chin Chuan's previous thoughts, he had not been turned into a vampire by Dio. Just use the power you are familiar with to get rid of you, Blackbird a cream, Blackbird a acon miasma. Blackbird stretched out his hands and grabbed vanilla's head. The next moment, the power of space vibration spurted out. You guy ah, Vanilla let out a final angry roar, already knowing her final outcome. Buzz. Immediately afterwards, the power of space cutting acted on Vanilla's body, and his body disappeared instantly, leaving only a few broken limbs on the ground. If you place these limbs carefully, you will find that Vanilla's body was cut off by a spherical space, and his broken limbs have smooth arcs. Ha! Huh, vanilla is completely dead and his substitute hasn't completely dissipated yet. After completely killing Vanilla, Chin Chuan looked at the subterranean miasma that was originally behind Vanilla, this weird-looking stand-in had not dissipated immediately but was just floating in place blankly. There are also examples of this in the original work. For example, after Fatty's death in the fourth film, the substitute was even able to hold on and hand over the clues about the murderer to others before he completely collapsed. In that case, Blackbird, swallow it. Maybe you will gain more complete abilities after swallowing it clean. Adhering to the principle of not wasting, Chin Chuan controlled the Blackbird to step forward and swallow the remaining limbs of the sub-air miasma that had not dissipated into his body in one breath, making Chin Chuan feel a little more proficient in the ability to remove space. Vanilla Ace is Dio's confidant and the most difficult subordinate around Dio. Normally speaking, if I go to fight Dio, Vanilla's existence will inevitably increase the difficulty. Chin Chuan thought as he watched the blackbird completely swallow up the miasma of the air. So, now that I kill Vanilla in advance, it should increase my progress in completing the main story. The next moment, Chin Chuan opened the system panel, and sure enough, the synchronization rate on the panel changed again. Current World. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Main Mission. Destroy Dio. 
Synchronization of player kobold strength, 50%. Players are requested to try their best to advance the main mission and unlock strength synchronization. Look, what is advancement? This is called advancement. On the first day of entering the Jojo world, it took about 4 hours to push the synchronization rate directly to 50%. In comparison, the synchronization rate in Dragon Ball World only reached 1% after 2 days. The comparison is really huge. But I have to say that in this battle against Vanilla, the 40 combat power points synchronized from the Dragon Ball World really helped a lot. Without this power, he would not be able to punch through the ground to avoid space deletion, nor would he be able to break one of Vanilla's arms and legs at once. In the end, Vanilla couldn't be pulled out of Akon Miasma's mouth like a chicken. As long as his combat effectiveness is strong enough, many troublesome abilities can be solved easily. His strong strength and speed alone can allow him to avoid a lot of damage. So although Chin Chuan seems to be complaining about the synchronization rate of Dragon Ball World, in fact, he actually wants to increase the synchronization rate of Dragon Ball World. It's really a mess. This guy Vanilla doesn't care about his surroundings at all. Chin Chuan looked at the mess around him. Because the battle was taking place at the door of the hotel, the movement just now must have attracted the attention of people in the distance. But Chin Chuan couldn't leave immediately. He had to find the hotel's registration book first, his name was still recorded on it. If the register is not disposed of, Dio's men will definitely find his name in the register. Because just now Vanilla used Space Miasma to circle around the door of the hotel and use space to remove it. The wind pressure generated after cutting out a large amount of space sucked out many things in the hotel lobby. Just like next to the tracks at a train station, if a train passes by, there will be a pressure change, which will suck people beside the tracks into the space between the train tracks. Vanilla's subspace miasma produced a similar effect while moving at high speed and cutting away space, so the ground was now covered with messy things. However, it was precisely because it pulled out the body of the hotel owner in the hotel lobby that Chin Chuan came up with the plan to use this half of the body to lure Vanilla's head. In a sense, Vanilla has trapped herself in a cocoon. I found it, and it was not torn apart by the Archon Miasma. Fortunately, I didn't take any chances. After a few minutes of searching, Chin Chuan found the hotel registration book next to the half-cut phone booth. I don't know if this register is a good thing or not, but it was not cut off by Archon Miasma or rather, it was not completely cut. Only one corner of the register was scratched, as if a corner had been cut off by scissors. Chin Chuan opened the registration book tore off the piece of paper with his name written inside, and then threw the registration book on the ground. He had actually thought just now that, so many things have been torn apart by the arch and miasma, maybe the register has disappeared, but fortunately he still looked for it, otherwise he would have missed it. Feeling that someone should be coming to check on the situation soon, Chin Chuan summoned the black bird, and then his whole body merged into the dark shadow of the black bird, and finally let the black bird sneak into a different space and disappear in place. The space ability of the subterranean miasma allows him to hide in it and then move in different spaces. It is indeed a very useful way to hide. A. Dio. Lord Dio. It's my fault. An hour later, in Dio's mansion, Enya knelt in front of Dio with a face full of fear and apologized as loudly as a scream. Just now, the tragedy that occurred in a hotel in a small town on the edge of Cairo has reached the ears of Dio and Enya. It looks like a horrific hotel murder case, but it should be the Cairo police who should be troubled, not Dio and Enya. But judging from the information fed back from the scene, the ground seemed to have been chipped by an extremely sharp spherical object, and the mysterious situation of where the chipped cement is has not yet been found. There is no doubt that it is Vanilla Ace's, Aerial Miasma, ability. But now, Vanilla Ace has not returned yet. A fight broke out in front of the hotel, but he has not returned to Dio yet. This is almost impossible for that crazy Dior admirer. The only thing that can be thought of is that Vanilla is dead. No matter how crazy he worships Dio, he will never come back to see Dio. And when this incident came back, the one who was most horrified was of course Enya. Because Vanilla's mission when she left here was to monitor the whereabouts of the arrow she sold to determine whether the arrow would cause trouble to Dio. The result is already obvious. The boy who got the arrow was indeed a huge trouble. As soon as he awakened his substitute, he killed Vanilla Ace, who had terrifying abilities. 
Vanilla is dead. What a pity. He was obviously so loyal to me and a very useful subordinate. On the big bed in the room, Dio was immersed in the shadows, his voice was low. Before meeting the Joestar family, Dio's behavior had always been so calm and ruthless. It's just that after meeting the Joestar family, Dio will gradually become crazy, which is completely different from his usual mood when he is alone in the house. Look up, Enya, it doesn't matter if Vanilla is dead, the key is the boy who bought the arrow from you. Where is his information? Although Dio regrets Vanilla's death, he will not feel sad for him, after all, Vanilla is just his subordinate, and he will not feel sad for his subordinate. What he is more concerned about now is that the young man Enya mentioned who bought the arrow is Chin Chuan. From Enya's mouth, he had learned that the boy who bought the arrow had an Asian face, which reminded him of the Joestar family who were heading to Egypt. That Jotaro Kujo seems to be the neon man, so is the boy with the same Asian face who bought the arrow related to him. I, I don't know. Enya had a look of fear on her face, as if she was afraid of being blamed by Dio, for her who had always admired Dio, losing Dio's trust was also a huge hurt. Although she sold the arrow to Chin Chuan, she did not know any information about Chin Chuan, in fact, one of the purposes of Vanilla's operation was to investigate other information about Chin Chuan on Enya's behalf. Vanilla did it, and he confirmed Chin Chuan's name from the hotel's registration book. But he was killed by Chin Chuan before he could pass this information back. Although someone later found the hotel registration book, Chin Chuan's name was no longer on it, Sadio and Enya naturally couldn't find out anything. As for fingerprint recognition technology, this is the 1980s. Chin Chuan knew this and did not shy away from sticking his fingerprints on the registration book. This is not, which room is Dio's house? Chin Chuan stood on the street in downtown Cairo, looking at a house in front of him. He wore a hat bought at a roadside stall on his head, and his face was full of anxiety. After getting rid of Vanilla, Chin Chuan began to look for Dio's mansion. But when he started searching, he realized how many similar houses there were in downtown Cairo. In order to prevent Enya from being recognized, Chin Chuan put on a hat, hiding most of his face in the shadow of the hat brim. In this way, Dior's other subordinates basically cannot recognize him based on his, Asian boy, characteristics. But there is no point in pretending well, because Chin Chuan's main mission is not to, hide for four hours while being searched by Dio's men, but to eliminate Dio. But the problem is that he has been wandering around Cairo's downtown area for several hours. Seeing that today's eight hours in the Jojo world are coming to an end, I still haven't found Dior's mansion. There is no way, there are too many similar houses in the center of Cairo. Dior's mansion style is not outstanding in Cairo. The streets are full of similar houses. Moreover, Chin Chuan had no way of confirming whether Dio lived in these mansions. The only thing he could do was to use the power of Blackbird Air Miasma to sneak into the houses to check. When the Blackbird Air Miasma moves in a different space, it is accompanied by space cuts, so Chin Chuan has to control it carefully to avoid accidentally cutting load-bearing columns or something. He came to find Dior, not to demolish downtown Cairo. It is conceivable that the progress of the infiltration search in this cautious manner will not be too fast. After more than three hours of slowly sneaking in, Chin Chuan barely managed to check out about ten similar-looking mansions, but there was no trace of Dior in any of them. In the original work, the protagonist and his group determined Dio's mansion by relying on a humane dog named Iggy who joined the protagonist group. But Chin Chuan didn't have a dog's nose, nor did he have the bloodline of the Joestar family that could feel the call of Dior's bloodline from a distance, so he almost went crazy just looking for Dior's house. Now Chin Chuan is extremely eager to eliminate Dio. On the one hand, it is to complete the main mission and take your blackbird out with 100% power. On the other hand, he is also very coveted by Dior's ability to stand for the world. Time stops, although the maximum time in the original game only reaches 9 seconds, but it is already a powerful skill that is enough to win in battle. In Dragon Ball, stopping time is also a powerful ability for leapfrogging battles. Guda of the Ginyu Special Forces, relying on his ability to stop time for a few seconds, infiltrated into the elite team with extremely low combat effectiveness. In Dragon Ball Super, Hit from the Sixth Universe has become the strongest killer in his universe by relying on a similar, 
flash time, that can only affect a few tenths of a second. This shows how powerful he is. After all, this is an ability from a battle comic, not from Xiao Huang Man. If it were replaced by Xiao Huang Man, then there would probably be no restrictions on stopping time. Now that Qin Chuan knows that blackbirds can gain abilities by devouring other people's fragments, he will definitely eat Dio's stand-in, world, without mercy. As for whether to eat the fragments of Dio's body, Qin Chuan thought about it and said forget it. After all, Dio's original ability comes from the power of a vampire. If he were swallowed by a black bird, in addition to increasing his recovery power, he would only inherit his weakness of being afraid of sunlight. Although the physical fitness of vampires is stronger than that of ordinary people, it is really insignificant to Qin Chuan who has already relied on the Dragon Ball world. In addition, not only Dior's world, but also the abilities of some of his stand-ins, Qin Chuan also seemed to eat them up. For example, he really wanted the ability of Enya's, Justice, and the Mist Substitute who sold him arrows before. It's just that he went to the market just now and found that Enya's shop was empty. I guess I must have received a summons from Dio and hurriedly went to meet with Dio. After all, the fact that Vanilla was killed by Chin Chuan had a lot to do with Enya in a sense. Whether it is to call Enya to raise an army to investigate the crime, or to ask for more information, it is possible. But if we can't find Dior's mansion, everything is in vain. Chin Chuan stood on the street and couldn't help but sigh. Who would have thought that in the main mission of defeating Dio, the biggest obstacle is not strength, but finding people. Now Chin Chuan not only has powerful power, but also has the space-destroying ability of sub-air miasma. He can definitely kill Dio, but he can't find anyone. There's not enough time anymore. There are still 10 minutes left before the income will reach zero. I can't wait until the income reaches zero before playing Dior. With a pained expression on his face, Chin Chuan looked at the playtime prompt on the panel, which clearly stated that Chin Chuan's playtime had now reached 7 hours and 47 minutes. In other words, in 13 minutes, he will trigger the anti-addiction system, and by then all his gains in this world will be reduced to zero. Although he doesn't have to leave the world immediately after the anti-addiction is triggered, he can't find Dio and kill him with the debuff of zero income. When the time came to kill Dio, the main mission was not completed because the benefits returned to zero, and the synchronization rate was always fixed at 50%. That was a huge loss. Forget it, the remaining time is not enough to search the next mansion. After standing in the street in a daze for a while, Chin Chuan also decided to withdraw from this mission world. What's more, if Dio is found in the next mansion, it will be even more troublesome. The remaining time may not be enough to kill him. Although exiting the game now means that the synchronization rate of the Jojo world is only 50% this time, and Blackbird's strength can only be brought out 50%, but that is enough. Even if Blackbird can only inherit half of his own power, plus half of the subspace miasma, it is already a pretty good combat power. He wanted Jojo's substitute mainly to enhance his mental and soul strength, and now he has got what he wanted. After going out, he could probably see the evil spirits. With the help of the black bird, he could also take action against those evil spirits. At that time, maybe he can also help Yatsuya Miko to clean up the evil spirits in the school, so that she will not be frightened in the school. He, Chin Chuan, still takes great care of his alumni. Because the eight hours of sleep time had been exhausted, Chin Chuan woke up directly in bed after exiting the game this time. But as soon as he woke up, Chin Chuan was startled by the shadow next to him, and when he looked carefully, he realized that there was an evil spirit standing next to his bed. Just like the evil spirits Yatsuya Miko saw, this dark evil spirit had a distorted shape, with no human shape at all, and seemed to be composed of black lines. Probably realizing that Chin Chuan, who had gotten up, was looking at him, the black evil spirit suddenly turned his head and looked at Chin Chuan, only then did Chin Chuan find where the evil spirit's head was. Can you see me? Chin Chuan was too lazy to reply. The figure of the black bird appeared directly behind him, and then punched out. The evil spirit's figure instantly shattered and was smashed into pieces by the black bird's punch. These evil spirits look quite intimidating, but in fact they only pose a threat to ordinary people. As long as there is a way to attack the evil spirits, Chin Chuan's power can easily deal with them. 
I didn't expect that there was actually an evil spirit in the house, this house must be a haunted house. Seeing the evil spirit turn into black mist and disappear, Chin Chuan's expression became a little subtle. When he exited the game, he thought that he would be able to see the evil spirit after getting a double, and he also thought that he would be able to see the first evil spirit soon. It was indeed very fast. As soon as I woke up, I saw that this evil spirit was actually in my room. The birth of evil spirits is nothing more than the transformation of the spirit body after death, and there are usually more of them on the streets. But if one appeared in his room, Chin Chuan could only suspect that this house was originally a haunted house. Of course, it is not ruled out that someone died here a long time ago, and then someone built a house where the dead person was, causing the evil spirits to be trapped inside. After walking out of the room, Chin Chuan first looked around every room in the house and confirmed that there were no other evil spirits except his own room, and then he breathed a sigh of relief. Although he was sure that the evil spirits posed no threat to him through the blackbird's attack just now, having a few more evil spirits would still make him feel a little psychologically uncomfortable. Even just one evil spirit made him feel sick. The blackbird brought to reality. Chin Chuan turned to look at the blackbird floating behind him, he was not a self-aware stand-in, and his actions were completely controlled by Chin Chuan's consciousness. Because the synchronization rate of the Jojo world is only 50%, Blackbird's power is also slightly weakened, almost half of Chin Chuan's power. But half of it was already strong, at least the evil spirit just now couldn't withstand the Blackbird's punch. And a a. Blackbird a Akon Miasma. Under Chin Chuan's control, Blackbird stretched out his hand, grabbed a teacup from the table, and then used the ability of the subterranean miasma he got from vanilla. Buzz. With Blackbird's hand as the center, the spherical space was cut away, and the teacup originally held by Blackbird disappeared, leaving no trace behind. Although only 50% of the power is synchronized, there is almost no change in the space ability. Probably because the effect of the space ability is relatively constant. Watching the teacup in Blackbird's hand disappear, Chin Chuan also thought to himself. However, although Archon Miasma has a strong spatial ability, it also has a flaw, that is, to remove space, it must be close to the opponent. The subspace Miasma's space removal is to remove space in a spherical range with itself as the center of the circle. Blackbird naturally inherited this feature. In contrast, the stand-in, bombing space, in the fourth part can destroy the space of distant objects by waving his hand. If used well, it will be more practical than miasma. Although, bombing space does not allow people to hide in different spaces for concealment, other than that, it can basically be said to be a superior replacement for subspace miasma. Speaking of which, I still don't know what will happen if the main mission of the world is completed. Will there be a new main mission? Thinking of the stand-in ability of the fourth part of Jojo, Chin Chuan became a little curious about what will happen after the main mission is completed. If nothing unexpected happens, the main mission of the third part of Jojo, which is to eliminate Dio, can be solved in about two days. After that, the Jojo world should not be completely sealed off, right? Maybe a new main quest will be born. But that won't a T be known until Ida S completed. A. Ashwan looks a little tired. After arriving at the school, Chin Chuan sat down in his seat as always, and then Kato Megumi in the front row turned his head, looked at Chin Chuan curiously and said. Ha, huh, is there any? Chin Chuan was startled and subconsciously touched his face, he didn't feel tired at all. He didn't know how Kato Megumi could tell. How should I put it? It's like we were fighting on the way to school. Kato Megumi looked at Chin Chuan with a smile, and then gave an overly detailed description. Quote dot 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 quote. When Chin Chuan heard this, he naturally thought of what he had just seen on the way to school. On the way to school, I did encounter a lot of evil spirits that I couldn't usually see. It would have been fine if those evil spirits were just wandering around the roadside, but there were a few evil spirits that didn't have long eyes that came close to me. Trying to reach out to myself while asking, can you see me? There was even an evil spirit with its tongue hanging out. Chin Chuan, who couldn't bear it anymore naturally punched each of these evil spirits with a black bird, and the one who stuck out his tongue was cut clean with archon miasma. Fortunately, Blackbird can use his hands instead of his mouth to use archon miasma, otherwise he really wouldn't be able to eat it. From this point of view, 
he probably did come over while fighting, but the evil spirits were beaten unilaterally. Wei, are you some sort of psychic? Because Kato Megumi's description just now was so accurate that Chin Chuan couldn't help but wonder if Kato Megumi saw something on the way to school. What do you mean? Kato Megumi tilted his head, seemingly unaware that his description just now was quite accurate. No other emotions could be seen from Kato Megumi's expression. Chin Chuan and Kato Megumi looked at each other for a while, but Kato Megumi was not shy at all, just looking at Chin Chuan. In the end, it was Chin Chuan who withdrew his gaze first, not because he was shy, but because he had just released the blackbird behind him. Blackbird went to the playground to catch an evil spirit and came back, but Kato Megumi kept staring at Chin Chuan and had no reaction at all to the blackbird and the evil spirit behind Chin Chuan. So Chin Chuan still thought that Megumi Kato was still just an ordinary girl, so he withdrew his gaze and asked Blackbird to kill the captured evil spirit. Today was also a very peaceful day. Chin Chuan spent almost the whole day studying and chatting with Megumi Kato. It was rare that Akaji didn't bother Chin Chuan today. This guy seemed to be nervous about tomorrow's date. His expression made Chin Chuan feel a little funny. But such a peaceful life is also what Chin Chuan needs. The atmosphere in the Dragon Ball world and the Jojo world is relatively tense, and he needs such a peaceful daily life to relieve his emotions. If he fights and kills in the Dragon Ball world, fights and kills in the Jojo world, and then comes to the real world and has to fight everywhere, then who can bear it? Speaking of which, is a Xuan free this weekend? When school was about to end, Kato Megumi turned around and asked Chin Chuan. Because tomorrow is the weekend, many students in the class have begun to form groups to make appointments for things to do over the weekend. With the blessing of, Chi, Chin Chuan's hearing has also been greatly strengthened. Even without deliberately listening, he heard that many classmates had made plans to go out together on the weekend. But what he didn't expect was that Kato Megumi actually asked him if he was free on the weekend, could Kato Megumi plan to date him over the weekend? Chin Chuan touched his chin, feeling that he had more and more opportunities to interact with girls recently. The life-saving angel in the previous online game could be considered a girl, and she was planning to make a date with herself on the weekend, even though it was a date to play games, it was still a date, right? Well, I do have other things to do during the two weekend days. It's a pity that Kato Megumi is rarely ready to date him, but Chin Chuan has already been booked by Yukinoshita Yukino this weekend. Although he and Kato Megumi should be closer than Yukinoshita Yukino, he is not ready to go back on the things he promised, so he will let Yukinoshita Yukino do the hard work this weekend. What's wrong with Megumi? I should be able to spare some time on Sunday if necessary. Of course, Chin Chuan didn't know if Wei Yu needed help with anything, so he mentioned it specifically. On Saturday, it would be difficult to spare the whole day, but on Sunday I just went to the kendo gym with Yukinoshita Yukino, which shouldn't take much time. If he is willing, he should still be able to find a lot of time to act with Megumi Kato on Sunday. Is that so? If not, forget it. Wait until you are free next time. Kato Megumi's expression was quite calm, and it seemed that she was not too disappointed in not being able to make an appointment with Chin Chuan, but what she was thinking specifically was unknown. But before Chin Chuan and Kato Megumi could say a few more words, Hiratsuka Shizuka, who came to the classroom every day after school to give routine notifications to the students, spoke. Chin Chuan, come to my office after school. Um. Chin Chuan was stunned. This was the first time he was singled out by Shizuka Hiratsuka. After all, his performance in school is quite ordinary. Even if he is occasionally confessed by a few girls, his response should not be out of the ordinary. If I had to give him a position, he would probably be a high school student who is somewhat handsome, has average grades, and can barely be considered an honors student. Although Shizuka Hiratsuka cares about students, he obviously won't criticize a student who is doing well, so Chin Chuan has not been singled out by Shizuka Hiratsuka for a long time. Naturally, he would be a little surprised when he was called out alone today. A. You came. After school, the door to the teacher's office was opened, and Hiratsuka Shizu saw Chin Chuan slowly walking in. Well, I'm here. What's the matter with Mr. Hiratsuka? Chin Chuan nodded and took a look at the situation in the office, except for Shizuka Hiratsuka, it was empty. It seemed that the other teachers had also gone home. 
Of course, some teachers are club advisors, so they may also go to those clubs. Before coming to the office, Chin Chuan also thought about what he had done recently that would be singled out by the teacher, but in the end he thought of nothing. He thought he behaved quite normally and did not write any words of self-pity in his essay. Hiratsuka Shizuka is a good teacher who cares about her students, but Chin Chuan feels that he is not yet at the point where Hiratsuka Shizuka needs to be cared for alone. You have a good relationship with Yukinoshida recently. As Shizuka Hiratsuka spoke, Chin Chuan immediately understood why he was called by Shizuka Hiratsuka. It turns out Ida S because of Yukinoshida Yukino. Although Yukinoshida Yukino is an honor student, her character problems have always been noticed by Hiratsuka Shizuka, so she pays more attention to Yukinoshida Yukino. Regarding Yukinoshida Yukino's somewhat withdrawn behavior, Hiratsuka Shizu thought of a lot of solutions but could not think of anything, but recently she heard about some contact between Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida. Although she knew that the guys in the football department were definitely adding fuel to their teeth when they spoke, but with their personalities, they probably wouldn't make up things that didn't exist. So she called Chin Chuan over this time mainly because she wanted to see what was going on with Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino. So that's what happened. Chin Chuan knew it and did not hide it, so he told him that he was dragged to the service department by Akaji and then Yukinoshida Yukino made a bad idea. After listening to Chin Chuan's story, Hiratsuka Shizuka had some understanding of what happened. It didn't surprise her. The guys in the football club were indeed exaggerating. Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino were not at the level where those guys said they were, going to date soon. The current Chin Chuan seems to Yukinoshida Yukino to be more like a temporary assistant to help her complete the commission. Yukishida established the service department. Although she wants to help others, she does not advocate that she should control everything. Regarding Yukinoshida Yukino's character, Hiratsuka Shizuka has a very thorough understanding, she always has a very accurate eye for people, not to mention that Yukinoshida Yukino's sister also has a certain relationship with her. This plan is not so much to help Akaji chase Tamaya, but rather to take the opportunity to change their personalities. After hearing this, Chin Chuan thought about it and felt that it seemed reasonable. Yukinoshida Yukino, rather than purely helping others achieve results, hopes that others can grow in the process. What the relationship between Akaji and Tamaya will become in the end may not be what Yukinoshida Yukino cares about. She is more concerned about whether the personality problems that hinder her can be corrected during the two of them getting along. Quote dot dot dot. Having said that, Yukinoshida's own personality problems are also obvious. Although Chin Chuan now roughly understood the meaning of Yukinoshida Yukino's plan, he still couldn't help but complain. Obviously determined to help others, he wants Akaji and Tamaya to change their shyness in expressing themselves. Dot, but Yukinoshida Yukino herself is not like this. That's why I care about her current interpersonal relationship. Shizuka Hiratsuka nodded and agreed with Chin Chuan's speech. Yukinoshida Yukino's withdrawn course of action may seem like a standard iceberg beauty to others, but to Hiratsuka Shizu, it is the self-protection established by a withdrawn person. But now it seems that you and Yukinoshida are getting along pretty well, there are no problems as I thought. Looking at Chin Chuan again, Hiratsuka Shizuka showed an expression of satisfaction on his face. If Shizuka Hiratsuka comes into contact with someone with a similar personality, there may be a quarrel or something. And you, maybe you're and Yukinoshida's personalities are more complementary. After confirming the relationship between Chin Chuan and Yukinoshida Yukino, Hiratsuka Shizu let Chin Chuan go. There is no plot in the original work where Shizuka Hiratsuka had to ask him to join the service club like Hachim and Katani. After all, there is nothing wrong with Chin Chuan's performance and he is not a problem child, so there is no need to make Hiratsuka Shizuka think that he should be thrown into the service department and corrected like Hikigaya Hachiman did. However, now Hiratsuka Shizuka is looking forward to seeing whether Yukinoshida Yukino's character will change because of Chin Chuan. A. After leaving the office, Chin Chuan returned to the classroom, ready to pick up his school bag and go back to play games. There was basically no one in the classroom. While Chin Chuan and Hiratsuka Shizu were talking, even the students on duty today had completed their tasks and left. This also surprised Chin Chuan. Recently, the on-duty students have become more and more perfunctory in their work. They can't even wipe the blackboard clean enough. 
it's no wonder they can run away so quickly. But when Chin Chuan came to his seat, he realized that there was actually another person in the classroom. Are you back? Megumi Kato was still sitting in his seat, looking at Chin Chuan who had just returned to the classroom with a smile on his face. To be honest, if the classroom hadn't been a bit unpleasant, Chin Chuan would have even felt that Megumi Kato was a bit like his girlfriend waiting for her boyfriend to come back. A.A. But Chin Chuan looked at Kato Megumi's expression carefully, but he couldn't tell what Kato Megumi was thinking at this time. Yeah, I just talked about a small matter with Hiratsuka Sensei. Why haven't you gone home yet? Chin Chuan nodded, picked up his school bag from his seat, and looked at Kato Megumi curiously. Megumi Kato did not participate in club activities, and she had almost no communication with other students in the class. Logically speaking, she should go home directly after school. Could it be that he was really waiting for himself? Didn't Ashwan notice? It's already raining outside. Kato K saw that Chin Chuan really didn't realize anything, so she gently raised her right hand, in her hand, she was holding a folding umbrella. Did Ashwan bring an umbrella? Chin Chuan was stunned for a moment, and then looked out the window, his seat was right next to the window, so he could see the situation outside at a glance. I didn't pay much attention when school was over just now, but there was really a drizzle of rain outside the window. Through the window, you can still see some students walking out of the school with umbrellas, and some students without umbrellas running out in panic with their school bags on their heads. In fact, even if Chin Chuan didn't bring an umbrella, as long as he let the blackbird cover his body and use subspace miasma to cut off all the rain falling on him, he wouldn't get caught in the rain. What's more, Chin Chuan actually had an umbrella in his school bag. Quote dot dot dot, it seems that I really didn't bring it with me. However, Kato Kido was waiting for him in the classroom specifically for this matter. Chin Chuan always felt that it would be a bit embarrassing to say, I brought an umbrella, at this time. There's really nothing we can do about it. Kato Megumi seemed to have expected Chin Chuan to say this, with a faint smile on his face. I happen to bring an umbrella, let's use this umbrella and walk together first. Even though he has a strong sense of, Chi, Chin Chuan still can't figure out what Kato Megumi is thinking. It always feels like everything is as she expected. However, judging from the performance of the Dragon Ball world, there should an indeed or mind reading moves using Chi in Kame Sen Ryu. Both Kame Sen and Sun Wukong have used similar abilities. It's just that Chin Chuan doesn't know the martial arts of Kame Sen Ryu now, and it's unlikely that he will use this technique on Megumi Kato. Walking to the school gate with Megumi Kato, I don't know if it was because Kato Megumi's low presence seemed to have affected Chin Chuan, but no one said hello to Chin Chuan along the way. Although Chin Chuan is not a celebrity in school, he can still talk to many classmates. It is also very common to say hello to classmates he knows on the street. But today, as I walked all the way from the classroom door to the school door, I met a few classmates I knew, and they walked right past Chin Chuan without even looking at him. But Chin Chuan didn't care much. Where is the Ashwan family? Standing under the eaves of the school gate, Kato Megumi opened the folding umbrella in his hand. The umbrella didn't look too big, but it was indeed not a problem to squeeze in a man and a woman. In Neon, this kind of behavior of a man and a woman holding an umbrella together is called, matching umbrella, which usually means love. Occasionally, you can see someone drawing a matching umbrella and the names of classmates on the blackboard in the classroom. Here, Chin Chuan pointed to the left side of the school gate and glanced at Kato Megumi, generally speaking, Kato Megumi should know what holding an umbrella with a boy implies. However, Kato Megumi's expression was very calm at this time, as if sharing an umbrella with Chin Chuan was not something to be ashamed of. Ah, that's too bad, my home is over here. After seeing the direction Chin Chuan was pointing, Kato Megumi said softly, ah, and then pointed to the right side of the school gate. The two looked at each other, but they didn't expect that the directions of the last two people's homes were actually opposite. However, after a brief silence, Kato Megumi quickly gave a new solution, although this solution may be exaggerated for ordinary girls. Then just send a Schwan home, and then I can go back by myself. Ha, huh, isn't this not good? Chin Chuan subconsciously felt that it was not appropriate, how could a girl send him home first? If it really had to be sent, Chin Chuan should have sent Kato Megumi home first, 
then borrowed Kato Megumi's umbrella and sent it back tomorrow. A oh no, tomorrow is Saturday, so ELL have to wait until next Monday to send it back. This is my umbrella, just listen to me. Kato Megumi stared at Chin Chuan, with a rare sense of indubitability in his tone, which prevented Chin Chuan from saying what he originally wanted to say. What else could he do? Chin Chuan simply agreed to Kato Megumi's proposal. Fortunately, Chin Chuan's home is not far from the school, so while chatting with Kato Megumi, it took about 10 minutes to reach the downstairs of Chin Chuan's apartment. This is my home. After arriving downstairs in the apartment, Chin Chuan nodded to Kato Megumi. This was the first time Chin Chuan walked to the door of his house with his classmates, and Kato Megumi was the first girl to know where she lived. Out of politeness, Chin Chuan subconsciously asked, Want to come and sit at my house? Originally, this was just a common greeting, and Chin Chuan just said it casually, normally, a girl would directly refuse such an invitation from a boy of the same age. But unexpectedly, after hearing this sentence, Kato Megumi nodded seriously. Then excuse me, sorry, we don't have guests over at home, so there are no drinks or tea, only drinking water. Chin Chuan placed a glass of water on Kato Megumi's table and said helplessly. He also didn't expect that he just casually invited Kato Megumi to follow him up without any precautions. No one else comes usually. I don't know if it was an illusion, but Chin Chuan felt that Kato Megumi's face became happier when he heard that no one else came from his family. It doesn't matter, just drink water. I don't really like drinks. Chin Chuan didn't know whether these words were the true situation of Kato Megumi, or whether Kato Megumi simply said comforting words to avoid making things difficult for Chin Chuan. I don't have much fun at home, and I don't have parents, siblings or anything like that. Chin Chuan sat on the other side of the table and looked at Kato Megumi, who was sipping some drinking water. But Megumi, you have to have a sense of crisis. When a boy of the same age invites you like this, you should be careful and not follow him so easily. It doesn't matter, I will only agree if Ashwan invites me. Kato Megumi shook his head slightly, looked at Chin Chuan calmly, and said a line that was easily misunderstood. If Chin Chuan's mental age wasn't a little older than his actual age, he would have been blushing because of Kato Megumi's speech. After all, young people can't hear such words. Ahem, your words can easily be misunderstood. Chin Chuan coughed twice, resolving the slight embarrassment in his heart. But if you take such a long detour and visit someone else's house, it will delay a lot of time. Won't your family be worried? No, my family is very relieved about me. The main reason is that no one will notice me, so they are not afraid that I will be in danger. Kato Megumi took out her mobile phone and waved it towards Chin Chuan. Chin Chuan could see her mobile phone screen staying on the chat window. And I already told my parents, so it's okay. When Chin Chuan entered the house just now, he saw Kato Megumi using his mobile phone. It seemed that he was explaining the situation to his parents. I don't know if Kato Megumi said that she went to a boy's house. If her parents are relieved in this way, then they are really relieved about Kato Megumi. Thinking about it, in the original work, Kato Megumi went to live in someone else's house, and Kato Megumi's parents didn't seem to have interfered. It can only be said that the character of Kato Megumi's family seems to be too easygoing. Has Ashwan always lived alone? Putting down the water glass, Kato Megumi looked at Chin Chuan curiously. Although they had been chatting intensively with Chin Chuan in the past few days, the two of them had gotten to know each other a little, but the family situation was still too deep after all, so the two didn't talk much in this regard. Although he knew that Chin Chuan lived alone, Kato Megumi really didn't know the situation of his family. I have no parents and have lived alone for as long as I've been conscious. Chin Chuan answered the question very calmly, and he didn't feel sad at all, he was alone when he came to this world, and his money and house were ready made. I see, I'm sorry. Megumi Kato apologized immediately, just like how most neon people behave when they hear that the other person is an orphan. It's nothing to be sad about. I'm quite comfortable living alone. Chin Chuan shook his head and said, When Wei grows up, he will live separately from his parents sooner or later. I just put this matter ahead of time. More than 10 years in advance is too much. Seeing that Chin Chuan really didn't seem to care much, Kato Megumi breathed a sigh of relief and then also joked about Chin Chuan. 
but I do have this idea occasionally, and I want to have a space where I can be alone. Although they have their own room at home, they are still under the jurisdiction of their parents. Every child should have had the idea of AAAA wanting a freer space. Even Megumi Kato occasionally has such thoughts. Speaking of which, does Ashwan have a spare room at home? I don't know what the thought was, but Kato Megumi suddenly asked such a question abruptly. After all, Ashwan said that no one else comes to his home, right? In such a big house, is there any place that is never used? Well, it is true. This apartment seems to have been originally designed for multiple people to live in, so it has a guest room and a second bedroom. Chin Chuan also took a sip of water, nodded and replied. But those two rooms have not been used for a long time. Although there are beds, they must have accumulated a lot of dust. I see a A. Kato Megumi nodded, as if he had thought of something, with a faint smile on his face. A. Half an hour later, Chin Chuan watched Kato Megumi leave his home. Although Kato Megumi agreed to visit his home so easily, Chin Chuan did not expect anything more. After all, he and Kato Megumi have only known each other for a few days. If he really wants to take a step forward with Kato Megumi, he will have plenty of time in the future. If you act too hastily, it will not be good to scare Kato Megumi. Although Chin Chuan already possesses strong strength, he prefers to vent that power in the mission world. If he poured out his desires without restraint in both the task world and the real world, then Chin Chuan would be nothing more than a beast controlled by desires. The role of this power in reality is more to make Chin Chuan's daily life more comfortable, rather than turning him into an overly cruel monster. Of course, in the mission world, Chin Chuan doesn't need to think so much. You should enjoy fighting and enjoying daily life. Only such a life can be called healthy. The mission world tonight is 80% still the Jojo world. If nothing else happens, the main mission of the Jojo world will be completed today. After gaining the ability of the subterranean miasma, Dio no longer poses a threat to Chin Chuan. Chin Chuan, who was filled with Qi all over his body, to put it bluntly, could not break through Dior's defense even if he stood there and let Dior do all he could for nine seconds. And Chin Chuan could cause real damage to Dio, whether it was his fists or the spatial deletion of the subspace miasma. It can be said that compared to Dior, the threat of sub-air miasma is actually greater, but this threat has been eliminated by Chin Chuan last night. A small boss can occupy 20% of the progress of the main mission, which shows that the system actually recognizes the threat of vanilla ace. As a big fan of Dio, you alone account for 20% of Dio's kills. Vanilla Ace, you can be proud of it. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.